All right, recording has begun. Day 15 of Elden Ring. So, uh, to catch people up, if you weren't here yesterday or all of yesterday, or uh, you're coming into the VOD or something later on, or YouTube or whatnot, um, half of our deaths in this entire playthrough happened in the last two days. Most of them yesterday. So, um, yesterday, I, it was really awesome, actually. It was a really epic type of thing. But anyway, yesterday I fought, um, Star Scourge Radon. And, um, I, I ended up taking eight tries. We beat him in eight tries, right? And it was a pretty awesome fight. I didn't use any of the summons. I didn't even realize, so I asked about it afterwards. But apparently you can summon, like, six. You can do your Ash summon, and you can summon six helpers. Uh, and you can resummon them. I, I didn't do any of that. I just beat him melee. One-on-one -on -one melee. We gave him the warrior farewell that he was looking for, which is actually the storyline there. He's a, he was a great warrior, great war general or whatever. Um, strongest demigod there was. And then he started getting eaten by the Scarlet Rot. And uh, so his mind went and his body was going. And um, yeah, the Scarlet Rot was, was eating him from within and would eventually... You know, anyway, and so they they put out the um, for this festival for warriors from the the world to come come there and fight Radon to the death and give him a uh, like a warrior's death, right? And and funeral. And so um, and the funny thing is, since I did it on my own without summoning anything, not even the NPCs. Uh, afterwards, when I talked to the NPC, like Alexander specifically, he was like embarrassed. He's like, I did so badly in that fight. I did so badly. I I got I got knocked down in a single swing. And I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't even summon you. But anyway, like the Crimson Curse, all, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly. So the things that we found that had the Scarlet Rot, um, it does, it seems to corrupt. It seems to change them and kind of transform them. Um, they lose their memory as well. We know that because we ran into an NPC that we uh, have have made it so the Scarlet Rot isn't building up in her as, as fast anymore, called Millicent. And so Millicent was starting to lose her memories, it, like even her like her core memories. She was starting to lose these things. So we know it, it eats at the mind also. They, they lose who they were. What it does beyond that, I, I don't know. I don't know that we've ran into a, um, a human where the Scarlet Rot has progressed to that. But anyway, you summon everything and beat him, and you kind of regret it. Oh. It, was, it was pretty cool. I really liked it. Uh, but he only... All right, that only took eight tries, right? How's it going, Ken? Zidian? Welcome in. So, like, but Adam, you said most of your deaths of the entire playthrough were yesterday. That's right. So a couple days ago, we did the Dragon Barrow, and in the Dragon Barrow, I found a statue that pointed the way to a... Um, a catacomb and it pointed down here right and I didn't know that we were I didn't know how we were gonna end up there eventually but turns out that was the arena of Radon and so I was like hey remember that statue now we should go back here so I went back and I found the war dead catacombs uh, catacombs right and so I was like um it's probably I, I went through it and I was like all right, there's a boss door. I'm sure it's going to be like a double boss, uh, like the rest of Kaled. All these dungeons Kaled have been like double elite mini bosses, right? And I go in, it's a giant enemy I've never seen before. What was it? Putrid, putrid tree spirit or something. And it was basically one shotting me. Like mo a lot of its moves, I would say like a third of its moves could one shot me. And the others were a two shot for sure. And it's in a tiny arena. And within like the first 12 tries, I got it from one hit from, from killing it. And then it ended up taking me 70, like over 70 tries to kill it. It was brutal. I was probably there sooner than I should have been. But by the end, when I finally beat it, um, I kind of had it pretty choreographed, right? That last battle against it was really good. I only got hit once and, the, and it has a huge health pool and defense. We weren't doing a lot of damage to it. Like an upgraded two-hander crit was doing only like 1,300. But it was really awesome. I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, it's the first place I've gotten stuck on. Um, I'm sure it won't be the last. But anyway, that's where the deaths came from. If you didn't, if you didn't uh, see yesterday, so 
Um, and then, so Radon died. We did that. The meteor crashed. Uh, in the stream, we went to where the meteor crashed. We went down, and now we are in Nokron, the, the upper part that we saw a long time ago. We were down at the Siofra River, um, or whatever. <laughs> Tom Cruise and Liv die repeat. What's the actual name of that movie? Is it like Edge of Tomorrow or something? I always get the name like you there, though. The cover of that movie says Live, Die, Repeat. The actual name of it is like Edge of Tomorrow or some. It's got a different name. It is Edge of Tomorrow. It's been a long time, but it's weird, is it? Like that's it doesn't. I don't think it shows Edge of Tomorrow on the on the cover stuff for it. Nailed it. It's a weird marketing, yeah. The size, and so, yeah. That also we got some really awesome armor. It's very very heavy. Um. But no, I'm, I'm happy that I beat the tree spirit there. There were some people coming in that had already beaten it. They're like, why are you doing so little damage to it? When I was there, I was doing like triple the damage. Like, what level are you? And I was like, I'm level 70. Like, I didn't go there until I was level 150. It's like, well, I found it, so I have to beat it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, one of the times that we died, literally a sliver of health left on it. Any extra damage, anything from any weapon, one more upgrade on any anything and i would have killed it on that attempt it was the like it didn't even have a health bar left it was a, literally a sliver of health felt kind of bad but anyway i was pretty stubborn that i was like well you know what in these games as long as you learn you don't have to brute force as long as you learn all the patterns sometimes it takes a while and i kind of i almost kind of regret spending so long there doing that but in the end it was very it was one of the most satisfying fights so far because it was seriously just overcoming the the moveset, right? This looks kind of like how an Everjail looks. Right? Anyway, we're exploring Nocron. No no Ghost? Glowwort Pickers? A, a bell bearing? Oh crap, we still have to go to the lift and the tower. Where are the bell bearings? We found a couple before, but usually they're like, they're like on corpses. Bell bearing of a forager who once picked ghost glovewort flowers. Off to the twin maiden husk of the round table hold to gain access. So I think the glovewort stuff is what upgrades your ashes and we're not using ashes. Um, so, oh well, let's go on any tears. We start early again. Uh, a little bit late, but just a few minutes late. Um, the U.S. goes into whatever time change DST. They like savings time, uh, like a few weeks for a lot of places in the world. Yeah, so that might be what's uh, what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Yep, yeah, that's why. This place definitely looks like an Ever Jail location. Aside from this raised thing here, this is a. Spirit or sil silver tear husk. It's a weird spot. It feels like there's. It feels like there should be something there. Alright, we came through there. So let's, uh. Let's look over this. And then we'll hug the right side around and explore and see what we can find. But no, it was, it was, uh, and I'm not saying that stuff about that boss to be like, yeah, look at me. I beat it way before I was supposed to. I'm, I'm talking about it, one, to relay all these deaths. Oh, there is items back here. But also because it was one of the more fun parts. I've been having fun the entire game, but I've been waiting for a boss that I had to, like, really figure out. And that one was definitely one, especially because of the stupid arena. 
boss is like this half the size of the arena. Okay, maybe a third. City we saw from Siofra. Yes, it is. And all it took to get here was defeating a, a demigod to make the stars move again so that a giant meteor crashes into the planet and bores a hole down into the underworld. That's all it took. We were looking for stairs or an elevator, maybe a pulley system. No, don't be silly. Just crash a meteorite into the earth. It's fine. Blythe has been trying to figure out how to get up here for a long time. Instead of maybe like trying to figure out a, some kind of cable system, maybe like getting one of those great bows and firing a, a cable up there and tying it off and maybe maybe shimming across. Ah. That's silly. place looks uh looks suspicious silver tier husk are silver tears those um oh he's got a great shield right i think silver tears might be those like mercury looking things that the t1000s that we killed yesterday clean for a while down here yeah oh, no. a larval tier it's a respec item i believe if i remember right oh, i need to spin my runes should really go spin these yeah what's the worst that could happen Great shield soldier ashes, so we just got another ash that I won't use, but an ash nonetheless. We are a collector after all. Um where was that? Ooh. Oh here. Spirits of Great Shield Soldiers who belong to the Fallen Hogs, a band of soldiers that once explored the Eternal City. Stout defenders with a steady guard. Though their methods are somewhat crude, they work well as a squadron and will attract the attention of enemies or lob ghost flames from the rear guard. So, Fallen Hawks. Um, yesterday, we gave an item to, what was her name? Nephili? Um, that involved the Fallen Hawk thing too. So there is a connection to Nephili's Lineage, Ancestor, something. <laughs> Shield game. <laughs> Pretty laughable compared to the catacombs yesterday, though. I know, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Some of these areas I get to, I get to them maybe out of order, you know? And so things in there, like even some of the normal enemies in some of those places that we were fighting were taking like 10 hits to kill or something. <laughs> it's like, maybe I shouldn't be here yet, but you know what? I'm already here, so we got to finish it. Uh, Stormhawk, right? Not Fallen Hawk, but Hawk nonetheless. And um, I still want to go. I'm really curious. I don't know um, if this is what I need to do, but I kind of made a connection yesterday with Nephili. I mean, obviously there's connection, but more of a connection, I would say. More concrete connection between Nephili and um, uh, the Storm Castle, Storm Vale. 
So I, I kind of want to go back there. I know we had to miss some stuff. But I do want to go back and see if um, that one guy is still stomping Godric's body or head. I said I would go back and see that after we did something. I, and I don't think I did. And um, I know we had to have missed stuff there. That was before I was really like super exploring places, uh, which I kind of regret in a way, but... In the description of the ghost flame torch we found, the entrance to- yes, yep. And the, the origin of the ghost flame. Their wind torches stopped, uh, they basically ran out of fuel for their normal torches. And so they started using the bones of people that, uh, their, their companions that were dying down here. Really likes Stalwin? Yeah, he does. Yeah, I know, I have to go there, I have to go back to the starting spot. There's a lot of places I want to go back to. But I've been, um... I've been pretty focused on going forward here the last maybe four or five streams. But I'm sure there'll be a lull at some point that I'll be like, all right, before we go do this next big area, there's not enough time left in the stream. Let's go hit these small areas. Yeah. Well, yeah. Society Plus Dungeon at like 20 or 30 used, but you cleared it. Is that the, um, the one I did as well when I got sent there <laughs> early level? The, um... That cave, the crystal cave, and the Kalid one, right? I got sent there super early from. I think it's the same ruins where you get the uh, the twin blades. I don't. I don't remember. But anyway. Plus Derek. 39 months to Sarah. It's a long time. Speedrun win. Oh, I'm not even done with the first blind playthrough, so. Not ready to. Whoa. This is so much larger up here than it looks from down there. Anyway, really cool looking area. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. There's a respawn area. Okay, well. Um. That's a. I haven't seen that type of enemy before. And I should really spin my runes before I go further, especially with the respawn area. Let's just go spin the runes really quick. It's not very far away. Wait. Oh, okay. That's the previous. Which one of these is the one I spawned into today? Let's go on PT. Really looked from below. Yes, yeah, same thought, yeah. The reason I'm getting endurance up is um, I would like to still be able to wear my heavy weapon at the same time as this armor, so we're going to need a little bit more endurance, even with the Great Jar's arsenal, I think. And if I don't know how much it's going to take, but if we could get to the point where we don't need the Great Jar's arsenal, that would be ideal, because then we will have that slot for um, another good talisman like we used to use, so... Oh, whoops, that was the other side. Already got turned around. So. All right, so there was a enemy coming up down here that I haven't seen before. A humanoid enemy. They're coming up the stairs. Is there an item there? Kinda. Oh, they have a whip. For some reason, I thought they were going to be a caster. All right. I don't know why. <laughs> I saw like a sort of like robe garment and I was like, robes? Robe people only. You spells. Gherking. Tier 3 again. Thank you, Gherking. 26 months. Jesus, I can't believe it's been so long. Hey, Gherking. Hopefully you're doing all right. It's been a while. It's been a little while. Thank you, Gherking. Very much push. Oh, does he tend to throw spells? I know, right? It's not a stereotype, it's true. 
Man, this place looks awesome. And look at that. <laughs> so this is one of the coolest looking places in the game so far. You're great. I've been enjoying Elden Ring. Yeah, I was talking yesterday towards the end of the stream that um Oh, there's a friggin' boss door already. That I've been um having a lot of fun with it in that. It's been a long time since I was able to just like play a game blindly and have fun. Especially with all this crap going on. Health stuff going on, you know. So Oh! I also need to, um... I, I've been ignoring my flask of physic and just literally using it as a extra healing potion, but we have, we have ten flasks now. I really... Oh! The, the tree thing! It gave me another golden seed. I wonder if we have enough now to upgrade our flask. Anyway, what I was going to say is uh, we've gotten tons and tons of those tears to mix in a Physic Flask. Like, I probably have 10 of them. And I've just been using the Physic Flask as a uh, as a backup heal. <laughs> like, I really need to go or to rem remember to go look. Boss door already. Man, oh man. I'm not, I'm not feeling up to a boss right now, but... Let's go collect some deaths. There's another one of those um, giants on the throne. That's the second... Oh, there's one over there too? I can't tell if that's one. That's the second one we've seen though. The last one we saw like that had a um, uh, dragonkin soldier, a different kind of dragonkin soldier. And so, maybe that one does as well. We'll see. Let's go on. Datney, welcome in. Very strong physic tears. Yeah, I, re I, I really need to look at it. I've been, like I said, just kind of ignoring it already, or a lot. It's been doing it the hard way, I guess. And high death score. Death Simulator continues? Hopefully not. It can't... Oh, almost missed that. It can't be worse than yesterday's boss, right? Right. Let's go Well, I mean, I spent my runes, so... I bet I can jump down there. Maybe. I might. I'm gonna. Ch I'm not gonna do it right now either way. I'm gonna do the ball store first. I very well might be able to land on that without dying. Never mind. It's slightly further than I thought. That was pretty close though. Maybe this side? Adam, they're the same length. I, I gotta check it too, just, just just to be sure. Yeah, just barely, just barely. All right, here we go. I was talking about it before the stream too. I was like, I'm. Feeling even a little bit worse today than yesterday. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, I'm sure, this is fine. Oh, it's just an excuse for death. No, I don't need an excuse for death. Oh, uh, God. Okay. There's something to drop down. Oh, I forgot to do the gamble. Whoops. What? It's me! <laughs> He's doing the fire grease! Hey! I'm saving that for later! The 
Is he using the fire grease because it's in my inventory? Oh, I bet he is. It's all right. I know that there's a timer on that fire grease, so. On Greece. <laughs> One minute. I didn't even think about him using flask. Like, oh god. Okay, you can only use one. How's it going, Phelan? Well, that's certainly easier than yesterday. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, another larval tier. Silver tier mask. I have defeated myself. You think it was easy because my character is so weak for this stage of the game? <laughs> Most people probably get here and they have like some kind of crazy like weapon art skill and stuff. Uh, they're, going, they're probably going in and it's like throwing these um, these L2 crazy hitting moves or whatever. My tier spawns like, what the crap? Melee only. It's going failing. Craft noob, welcome in. You went into this naked? So you knew what was coming, right? I mean, there's no way I would have gone in here naked. Versus everything, including myself. That's right. Now oh, that I level, this kind of me is not a good match. It's not... That's really what I was thinking, like... It's not very weak for this... I, I don't know. I think... Well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what the different levels are, but I absolutely felt incredibly weak yesterday against that uh, putrid tree spirit. Like... Four jump heavy attacks, stagger, plus crit with a giant two-handed weapon as high as I could upgrade it was doing like 20% health bar. But I, I don't know. I think that place is supposed to come after this one, so. I, I don't know if it is, but feels like it was. Will that work? Uh, both won and lost. <laughs> Oh, I need to read the mask. You think? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. If that one's technically because it's under the dragon barrow, so it it might technically be the level for that stuff up there. 
A mask fashioned from the corpse of a formless silver tear. Supported by its hardened shed husk. Greatly increases arcane to the detriment of physical attack power. To imitate the imitator is a cutting play indeed. Let's go on. Nyla, Nyla, thank you for the resub. Eight months, tier two. Thank you, Nyla. Um, I'm doing okay. Not 100% for sure, but we'll, we'll make it today, I think. I will create a Kaelid sitting there right next to each other. Yeah, I did go up there and I was killing some of those smaller dragons and it was take Like, they weren't killing me, but they it was taking a long time for each kill. And so I was like, I'll come back here some other time. I don't feel like spending two hours killing these minor dragons. I ended up killing like three of them before I was like, yeah, all right. another time. Man, I swear it looks like you can get on that ledge. I don't know if there's a reason to though. I hear either a beetle or a side of grace somewhere. And there's like a rock area down there. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. I think that's a beetle on here. Oh my god, look Look where we are. <laughs> We're above the uh, little... Uh, what would you call that area? It's almost like a temple. A temple where we summoned and fought the ancestral spirit so long ago. God, that was forever ago. Somber Smithing Stone 5. Move my head, you know, because my. Just move your head. This I'm playing uh, VR. You just can't tell. I remember seeing a lot of these places above me when we were down there. It's crazy we're up here now. But even then, I, we talked about like I was looking at the places. This was in the first few days of playing the game when it first came out. I was like, I bet you someday we're gonna be up there. I don't see anywhere to jump on. Check the map. Yeah, so we're right above the Hallowhorn Grounds, it's called. I bet you we're going to go here. So when I was first here, I kept trying to find a way to get in here, and I would cross these bridges, and there was just like a, a bunch of... Um, I think there's a... Can't tell. There might be an enemy over there on that roof. Anyway, there's a bunch of like... Uh, walls and different cliffs and things that I couldn't get, couldn't figure out a way to get up at that point. And another one of those, oh, I, we've only seen one of those uh, giant thrones and it, there was a dragon soldier that dropped down from it. I'm kind of expecting one to drop down when we get to that one. That's another thing I think we fought um, before we were really supposed to was the very first dragon soldier I ran into. He took, like, no damage. It took quite a while to kill him. Dwelling arrow. At least those guys, the ancestral spirit guys or whatever. Uh, no, that's the name of the boss. At least those ancestor guys down below aren't shooting heat-seeking arrows through the floor. Oh, there's some of them. Oh, they're not spirits up here. They're, like... They're real. Basically, end up finding a map here. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Now you're in the middle area ground. Oh, man, I didn't even think about that. That would that'd be kind of awesome in a way, and I would also be kind of annoyed. <laughs> kind of it's like, Jesus, how many... Uh, there is a ghost down there. I don't want to talk to him yet. So I don't want to drop down yet. Here, deer. Oh, 
Looks like we could probably drop down to that spot too. So that's how you get on top of those waterfalls. You don't find a way up. You find a way down from the surface. <laughs> Alright, let's see how uh, strong these ancestor guys up here are. A butterfly. There's one over there, like, using a move I haven't seen them use before. Has like a horn or something, maybe? I, not the ones on his head. Uh, they're leading animals around. All right, let's see what this ghost says. Mushroom is around them again, huh? Lord of blood, your eminence. I beg you, grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty. Long live the... Mogwin Dynasty? Long live the M M Mogwin Dynasty. Huh. That's the first time that's the first time we've heard that name. But I think that's also the first reference I've seen to a blood god. Let's go on strategy, welcome in. Doing alright. Yeah, I think we can definitely go across. Yeah, there's an item there, too. Do I want to do it now, or do I want to do this area up here first? I think I'll do the area first. I'd really like to find a side of grace nearby. Sorry, Scape. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? This is, like... Prettiest part of the game so far. That's kind of saying a lot, especially after uh, doing the... Ancestral Beast fight early on, and then doing the... Um, Moon Goddess fight. Those are very pretty arenas as well. Yeah, we can definitely jump down and there's an item down on this side. So let's see if we can find a side of grace before I do that though. I'm also really curious if these guys are stronger than the ones down below. I don't think so. Oh God, I locked onto an animal. That move. That one gives him like um, super armor, basically. That like when he puts his forearm up. I remember having to learn that move last time we were here. Maybe there is a way back up without. Nah, I'm gonna wait. Let's find a side of grace. Over there, take bets. Oh yeah, that's the area I actually saw. That I was like, someday I bet we'll be up there. It's also the area that Blythe was looking uh, up at. There's another temple up here with um, with the pyres. I bet we can like this. Just like the one down below. Oh lord, I wonder what this is going to spawn. Yeah, there's... Yeah. And it lit that over there. I really do need to find a side of grace, though. He's not using a spirit bow, so that's nice. Oh, jeez. Have not seen one like that. Okay, he has a different super armor type move than the other ones. Alright. First death of the day. Got that out of the way. Remember I was like, I don't want to... Oh, wait, where's the Steak America? Yeah, the shiny horn ones have a... Like this little mini charge move, it looks like, where they aren't staggered. Alright, thank you, Inspector. Hopefully everything's going alright. Hopefully we'll see you soon. So, yeah. 
New kind. No spirit bow, yeah, spirit horns now. I shouldn't have said anything. looks weird. Maybe I got hung on something for a second. But at first I was like, am I fat rolling? No, I would know if I was fat rolling. There's another one. Let's go on Matt. Welcome in. Yeah, they are hitting a bit harder too. And I've got a lot better armor than uh, than what we had in the catacomb yesterday. So yeah, they're still not hitting as hard as the ones in that um, where that tree monster was. But jeez. I don't think anything has hit that hard yet two of these. So that one's guarding one up there. I mean, I really want to find a side of grace down here. I should get my runes back. It's not a lot of runes. We just spent them right... Well, I don't know. I actually beat that silver or the... What was it? Mimic tier? I beat that mimic tier boss on our way down here, so I don't know how much, how many it gave me. Well, there's an item right here where it was. I think stone five. Um, a decent amount. Here's the magic horn, guys. I gotta get in the hang of whatever their moveset is. I don't know yet. I've only seen one new move out of them so far. Oh, he is one of them. Christ. I hear uh, singing. There might be some kind of siren here too. Or it could just be part of the background ambiance. different kind of singing than the sirens that we ran into. All right, let's see what, I'm guessing there's gonna be like a corpse up here that this re uh, invigorates just like the last temple we found down below. It's another deer, so we're probably gonna have to fight it. I don't, I don't want confirmation yet. This leads me to believe we're gonna fight another uh, Type of deer fight like we did the temple temple below this one. God, that was so long ago. I don't even remember what all it did. It floated around and shot magic. I remember that much. So, Brannikin, I have the high ground. The high ground was my enemy. Uh, when was that? Two days ago when I was doing the jar, great jar thing. I would do a heavy attack, and the second hit of it would go over their head because they were down the slope from me. Yeah, that's an elevator that we've already taken. Yep. And I noticed, um... Is that the elevator that we've taken? There might be multiple over there. When you first... Yeah, this is another one of those. When you first came in here yesterday and I looked over... Alright, we've definitely not been over there. Um... I noticed that the elevators up are like upside down towers. The surface. 
So that one, the one over there where that pedestal is below it, like straight in front of me, we've gone up that one. I think that's the one that, that we went to early game that actually put us in uh, the Kalid area where the rune bear was and is actually the path over to the Great Jar, if I remember right. Yeah, we've never been over there, obviously. I see an enemy moving around in that one room. I'm sure we'll be over there soon. All right, you can, uh, we can use our horse in this area. I'll probably do that so I can find the side spray stuff faster. This game is an area that loops you back somewhere. And I know, that's, that's my one gripe with Dark Souls 2. And I was talking about the other day, like, Is he holding a head that's singing? I thought he was blowing a horn. I think he's holding a, like a skull. Anyway, that was my, uh, I really liked Dark Souls 2. It got crapped on quite a bit, but I really enjoyed it. But my one, or one of my few gripes about it is it didn't do very well with level design. There wasn't a lot of like looping back and connecting and whatnot. Like it, it's, it's the skull that's singing, what the? Yeah, I just I lit up to the other games. Yeah, I, I liked it. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to like it as much. So I played through all those blindly, right? Without, without looking at anything about them, just like I did with this, without any like preconceived. And I wasn't even streaming at that time or anything either. So after I was done with it and I looked up and I saw like the hate for it, I was like, what? Why? Jellyfish. Feels like the uh, jellyfish this game usually are pointing out where there's loot. <laughs> Maybe not always, but I did notice the first time we really saw a jellyfish was over on a weird spot on the way to Stormvale Castle. And I went that way and there were jellyfish in a graveyard. And that's where we got one of our first ever ashes, um, ash summons. And then we got the jellyfish shield from a, an area with jellyfish. I still want to drop back down to that one area. I don't know if that theory's sound or not, because I don't remember what, where all we've seen them, but. It's going, ah, squared. Welcome in. Model necklace one. Did we just find the model necklace like yesterday? First one? Yeah. So robustness, immunity. Yeah, I found it after we'd done a bunch of rot crap. The budding horn, the ancestral followers believe, yeah. So it says the same thing. Upgrade first. Is there a reason to go over there? I mean, I don't think so, but I gotta check. Am I tired? Yeah, I am too. Yeah, no worries. You did miss the first boss of the day. I didn't set up a wager though. I was pretty sure I was gonna die. I was not expecting something as easy. Is that a, no, it's a waterfall. I thought that was a, what, what did the game call them? I got corrected yesterday. Spirit spring or whatever. I've been calling them horse jumps. That's what they are. Anyway, I beat the boss on the first try. It was pretty easy. Oh, I don't even get to see what that is anymore. <laughs> Deleted. Think somewhere where graves are makes sense, yes. Where there are graves, there are lo there's loot. Yeah, that's true. There's a platform down there. And there's like a cave down there too. There's light coming out of that cave. There might be a site of grace down there. That'd be a weird place for one, but... Stone Sword Key. Code name.
Funny now, jellyfish leading the way to loot again. Silver tier husk. I think you're now associating. Yeah, there's a side of grace. That was right. Uh, praise the loot worries you a little bit. It's mod wife. You missed this place where I am on the map. I'm in Nokron, the eternal city, but I'm on the top part of it. So I'm underground under Kalid inside Nokron. Not what's the city under it? The first one you go to Nok Nok Stell Nok another in name I don't remember game called triangle strategy no I haven't heard about that what is that time for noodle it's too early I don't feel like noodling yet knock Stella thank you there's a crucible what's with all the crucible nights in this the last couple days there's a crucible night on that look how small it is Yesterday I fought a Crucible Knight like over on one of those platforms. I was like, that's not a lot of space to fight a Crucible Knight. Well, <laughs> I'll take that over that spot down there. Summoning area. Man, I kind of want to go back up to that other spot. I wasn't done up there. Crap. It's going lonely. I feel like this is continuing on further and I wasn't done over here. I want to go back. I can't jump back up, though. And I didn't find a side of grace over here yet like I wanted to. And to get all the way back here, that's quite a long run, huh? But I need to find a side of grace up here so we can get back and forth. Crap. I'm, I'm going to do it. Audio from the game sound kind of strange. It's probably a Twitch issue. So there's this thing that Twitch does. It's really weird. It's been happening for a couple years. It mainly happens on low latency mode. And you might be like, but why is it only the game volume and yours isn't screwing up? It's something to do with frequencies. I don't know. Ledge nights, yeah, more like it. But basically, if you're having that problem, you can refresh to temporarily fix it. And if it keeps happening, the permanent fix is to turn off low latency mode. To do that, click on the gear down below stream. Uh, right below the video, click on the gear, go to advanced settings, and there's a low latency mode that's generally on by default. Turn that off, it'll fix the problem. But your stream will be a, a little bit further behind. This issue with Twitch transcoding audio it gets a little warm, but yeah, it's really odd. Fog of War on the map in the north. Point out. Also seems more maps. I know, yeah. Yep. There's this. Yep. I've noticed that too. And there's... Yeah, I don't know how big it's going to be under here, but... Wait, did I walk right by this after the boss? <laughs> Whoops. I was probably looking over at chat. I'm just walking... Uh, Fantasy Tactics game, plus by Square Enix. Very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics in the same art style as Octopath Traveler. Huh. No, I didn't hear about this at all. Yeah, I need to check it out. I'll try to remember. If you want to throw it or whisper it to me or throw it in Discord, I'll I'll definitely check it. What is going on with Twitch stream? It's probably Twitch. Yeah. Disrespect the boss and didn't even touch the grace. <laughs> Think about it. Watch. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I still want to play through Octopath Traveler, but I don't know when uh, we'll have the time to do that. It's Switch only? <laughs> you said gross. <laughs> this makes me think I should drop down that area I saw then. Since now we have a side of Grace that's not as, uh, not too far away. Saw me walk over it, but it didn't have the particle effect. Yeah, yeah, I didn't notice it either. All right, 
I think that drop down area I saw was by this ghost. Sad. It's like, oh yeah, no worries, man. It's it's not a big deal. I appreciate it though. You know, I don't know how today's gonna be compared to yesterday. I, I, who knows? I don't know if I'm going to things in a weird order, you know, since I'm playing blindly. I'm okay if I am, but I don't know if I'm going in a weird or order or what, but sometimes I go to an area in the, the like normal enemies, even the boss like are are really hard and hit hard like one shots and stuff right i think that's where i'm supposed to be and then i'll go to the the next area that i wanted to go to right i'll get there and i'm like just ripping everything apart and we'll run into a mini boss and i just like we'll do the we'll do the wager and i end up killing it in like five hits and uh, i didn't do any summons melee only recon took eight no npc summons no player summons no ashes just melee. I and mean, that's what I've done the whole game. Was that that's that's how I always play through these on the first time through. I try to just do melee without any extra stuff. So I want the first blind playthrough to be uh, you know, the tougher of my playthroughs, I guess. Please so stone in the area around your level. Yeah, that's what I've tried to base. But that's also weird. Like, so I've noticed that too. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. The smithy stone levels, um, they almost feel off in this game where some of them are, but maybe, it, yeah. Great quest due to going to places out of order. Yeah, that's the case with yeah, these games in general. Yeah. Ooh, crap. What were you using, codename? When I got to Rakan, it was, uh, this is what I used. I used Roger's Rapier <laughs> and uh, I was level 70 when I got to him. It was fun. I definitely had to know the moveset because I wasn't doing enough damage to kill him quickly. There's, there's quite a few more items down here. Oh, my lantern's out from when I did that up above. I make that. I should have done that. Smithing, see, Smithing Stone 2. There is no way you're supposed to get here, knock around the Eternal City, and Smithing Stone 2 being your current upgrade level of Smithing Stone. That's absolutely... There's, there's no way. I mean, I'm sure you can get here, but to get here, I you have to kill Rakan, right? Um... And yeah, in this exact same zone, we just found a Smithing Stone 5, like two of them. It's very weird where they've placed them. Bloodhounds thing. Celestial Dew. Oh, that reminds me. I need to go talk to Turtle Pope. Celestial Dew. Clarifying Horn Charm plus one. Uh, greatly raises focus. We already read the lore on... You know what? It's been so long since we got the other one. I'm gonna read the lore on it again anyway. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believe. So it's the same lore as the, uh, as the modeled necklaces. The Redon armors. I know, I had to wear it just because it's so awesome. It weighs a crap ton, but I... So I'm wearing the Great Jars talisman so that I can wear it. <laughs> 
Radon, Radon, yeah. Not to Rakong. Hey, Barrett, you got any items over here? No? So many names to remember? I know, I kept getting all those G names confused yesterday. I was saying, uh, what was it? I was trying to remember Gideon's name. I was saying, like, Godfrey? Godric? Gwyn? No, wrong game. Gwendolyn. Still wrong game. Guinevere. Right, what are you guys guarding over here? Smithing Stone 5. Seeing there was just a Smithing Stone 2 back there. I mean, I can buy Smithing Stone 2s, an infinite number of them, right? That Smithing uh, Bell bearing that we found forever ago. God, it's been so long since I was down in that zone. Jeez, man. It was like a lifetime ago. The time I killed him, I didn't get hit very much, so I don't know. Kind of sucks. I, I didn't. I mean, I don't read the patch notes because I'm afraid it's going to spoil or stuff. This is a weird spot, so I haven't read them, so I didn't. I didn't really know anything, but kind of sucks that uh, I got there after they nerfed it. I'd like to see if there's a way to roll back sometime and see what it was like, but people were saying afterwards that the main thing was um, the big one was lower damage dealt and that the arrows were, were slowed down but I didn't I didn't get hit very much in general I don't know how much that would have impacted my stuff let's go on people welcome in a weird spot that this leads to. What is going on here? Like, isn't that the underside of Siofra that we were at forever ago? Yeah. Pretty sure. I mean, I can jump down to that statue. I mean, I, I might as well. Could die, but. I mean, we're here, so. Maybe it's an area of that Siofra place that I didn't, uh, I didn't do. No, oh, isn't this close to where we fought the, the first Dragonkin soldier? Long, 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 long ago. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to land on that or not. I think I might die. Oh, well, let's try it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the original place that we came to. Yeah, this is high up. Jeez. Yep, I remember this spot, yep. Yeah, we haven't been here in, in forever. <laughs> oh, I missed, an, I missed an item when I was here. I think this is the spot I remember anyway. Maybe it's the back part of the other, Golden Rune 7. Hang on, 
Let me go back out. It uh, might actually still have it dropped down as far as uh, where I thought I was. Yeah, there's an item over here I've never gotten. Dragon wound grease. All right, no, this did not drop down as far as I thought. There is, yeah, they look very, very similar. So down there is the way we found the hidden um, store. Uh, Hayden, thank you for the rate. Thank you, Hayden. Those who joined in, thank you for coming over. Um, sorry, I can't type for the moment. Just during the my blind playthrough of Elden Ring, I have to put it on follower only. Those got people that uh, come in, try to spoil spoil things. Yeah, people doing it, trying to be. Um, kind of mean about it and then we have people that are just trying to help but it's not help that I I want on the blind playthrough sort of thing so if you can't type right now uh, it's not typical for the channel I, I don't really like follow rolling mode but it's just something I had to do during this playthrough so and then we'll get people that ask like these these questions that are kind of the question itself is kind of a, a spoiler or a hint and they're like kind of oblivious to it or feels that way, you know? We get stuff like that quite a bit, so that's why it's on there. This place is kind of... So I remember a place just like this. And there being an item right back there. So maybe I just... Maybe I came here, but I didn't go back behind this. I don't know. It's so, Like you said, it's so hard to tell. Yeah, like there's no item on that guy, so... Please suggestions more in depth than the trailer shows. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'm interested in that. Yeah, this is this is where the dragonkin soldier was. He was up there. So yeah, I actually came in here and I missed that area behind that temple spot. This is where we fought our very, very first Dragonkin soldier. Yep, I remember this guy. Did I ever check over here after I killed him? Yep, there was an item there. All right, back up we go then. Was this where I came down? Tet, 49 months. Jeez. All the best. Thank you, Tet. Very much appreciated. Um, so I still want to do this area. We dropped down again and did another little side area. I got to find a side of grace over there. There was originally, yeah. There was an item there, so... Yep, that was a long time ago. I was like in the first few days I played the game. Man, this area is so pretty. Big good tech. That's almost one whole entire full complete calendar year. Let's get all those words in there. You know what? I'm glad they didn't give the horse some kind of like Epona carrot mechanic. <laughs> the wife still hasn't found out. It's so crazy those skulls are what singing. So suspicious of that area down there. Oh, 
<laughs> Poke Turtle Mount. It's paid DLC. <laughs> No, this isn't like an EA game. There's an item in a course down there. What the crap? There's a side of grace. Falling against this game, it's pretty crazy. Oh, no. I can jump over there. Uh, I mean, I'm out of sight of grace. I might as well just go ahead and do it. All right, let's do it. I'm pretty sure I can make that. Oh, yeah, no problem. I've, I've made worse jumps. Oh, God. This is fine. Is this leading me down there to the area that I said I was worried about? <laughs> I think it might be. Knight's Sacred Ground. A whole separate place. Oh, do I want to go down here yet? I need to finish that spirit area. I keep... Every time I'm up there, I'm like, I gotta... I gotta wait. I want to see what else is in this area. I want to like the rest of these, etc. Because I'm like, I mean, there's no way for me to be certain, and I'm not just thinking aloud, but I would be shocked if there's... The silver tier can become a person? I'd be just shocked if there's not a boss down there. Well, I guess the silver tier is what became the uh, mimic boss we fought earlier. Celestial Dew. Let's go ahead, Zoolander. Welcome in. Good morning. Celestial do. Turtle Pope. Turtle Pope. Don't worry, Turtle Pope. I'm not going to commit any sins. I mean, not any that I want to get rid of. Pro probably. Mimic boss? I don't know if there are mim actual mimics in the game yet. I don't. I don't want to know. But I haven't found like a mimic chest. But we've been finding a lot of mimic uh, tears, which become other enemies, including a boss uh, that was me. But because my character's so weak, I was able to beat it easily. I don't. I don't. I don't have any like um, ashes or whatever ashes of war really that do much of anything. So it's just melee versus melee, and the AI. It's like what? All this guy has is a, a crappy little sword and a shield. <laughs> the sidetrack. Yeah, this is the game for me then. It's going light. Oh. Crap, there's multiple of them. I can see that guy coming. Hang on. I wanna I wanna redo. Hang on. These are more like uh, the red spirits. I wasn't expecting that when I saw them. Ah, 
I have underestimated them greatly. <laughs> Yeah, I was not expecting that. I thought they were, for whatever reason, I thought they were going to be like the um, uh, the whip thing we saw further up. The first guy here. Like that. Strength. Not that moveset. But. Yeah, 2,000 runes apiece from those. Yep. Sure there's gonna be Boston. I mean I'm not sure, but I would bet I would bet a lot of channel points there's gonna be a boss down here. So Tat, you're waiting for me to hit a hard boss. Yesterday I hit the only boss I got stuck on so far. And I think part of the reason was I was there way sooner than I should have been. I almost killed it on like my twelfth try, like literally a hit away. We also had it so low that it basically didn't have a health bar left. Like literally any any upgrade, anything would have killed it. Lowest health it could possibly have. It ended up taking me like seven, uh, 70 tries after getting so close early on. I would, I had a big two hand heavy weapon. I was doing heavy attacks to it. Four jumping heavy attacks, plus a stagger, plus a crit while it was staggered. It was only doing like 20% of its health. <laughs> it, was, it was really crazy. It was fun though. Trouble gambling, you only have 45,000 left now. <laughs> so now it's the boss that's killed me the most in this game by almost, almost quadruple. Um, also, it's killed me more than any, hang on. It's killed me more than any Dark Souls boss, any From Software boss that I've ever fought. Isn't that crazy? I think it actually... Black Wetwood. I think it actually surpassed um, Nameless King, which had the record on me previously. Is that a key item? Grant's choice of affinity... Oh, okay, it's one of those. Applying an affinity using physical or occult type ashes of war, an additional affinity of poison blood or occult can be chosen. Watching GSL. I haven't started on this season yet. I've been, uh... Oh, there's a boss door over there, and it's a white one. Oh, no, that's... White one is key door. Key door, right? Yep, there's a key door there. Still not as difficult. Yeah, gravity still has the record, yeah. Gravity will always be the final boss. All right, well, we actually found a key on our way down here, so I'm, uh, I'm of course gonna go use that. Yeah, I haven't had time yet, yeah. Okay, that is an enemy. <laughs> sure about gravity being the lead after you update? It probably isn't actually anymore on this playthrough. I thought you were an NPC. This, I think, is one of those whip people from the beginning. Yep. Oh, that chest looks a lot different than the ones we found before. Anemone. <laughs> Ooh, a gold. Mimic tier ashes. Great. More ashes that I don't use. The spirit takes the form of the summoner to fight alongside them, but its mimicry does not extend to imitating the summoner's will. Mimic tears are the result of an attempt by the Eternal City to forge a... You can summon a clone of your character like the one we fought earlier? <laughs> That's actually crazy. Oh, man. I've relegated myself to not using ashes, though. 
New game plus. New game plus. You can't. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Use all the spells you memorize and consumables you have on your bar as well. That's even crazier. Strongest Ash of the game. Wow. Ambush during prayer. Yeah. <laughs> So that's one of those balls from, we've seen two of them. One, uh, one was summoning Rhea Lucaria and the other, there's an item over there. The other was behind Celia, town of sorcery. Okay, so there's gonna be a way to get over there. But for now, I guess we go down the ladder. You saw what? Ash soloing the first story boss. Uh, that's crazy. Why is that on your autocorrect? I wonder, Graf. You know what? It's better we don't ask. I can attack the ball. <laughs> huh. That's weird. Oh, God. What? <laughs> hey. Whoa, whoa. Uh oh, this is where my melee only is going to really come back to bite me, huh? I need my, um. Oh, my God. I need my, um. <laughs> hit them. <laughs> my blunt weapon. But I'm, I would fat roll with it right now. So I need to get somewhere relatively safe so I can equip it. <laughs> it's still knocking her over in there. Um, kind. Oh, it still gives me heavy load crap. Oh god, she's coming. I gotta kill that ball. Alright, let's do it. I gotta know if there's something inside of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's peeking around the corner. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's good at dodging. He does drop something. It dropped a larval tear. Look at that. Lar Why did it drop a larval tear? That's weird, actually, coming to think of it. Come to think of it. That's kind of extremely weird. I can use the Gilded Great Shield and still have a uh, medium roll, actually. We've had that so long. We got that super early game, like right outside the gate, I think. But it doesn't look as cool. It's a lot better, though. The Jaws music should have been playing here in that. <laughs> Ancient Wrecking Ball in the church with all the furniture and throw it in. Did you add a quote during this? I missed. Oh no, no, no it's clip. God.
Huh. So... There's a purple item up there. There might... If we don't find a way back that, like, loops back around, then I got two options. I gotta go back up the stairs there and try to see if I missed a spot, or we can go back on the roof. That one can't be taken out of context, at least, because it's a clip. That's true. Hey, side of grace. Nice. You know what? I think that's, a. Uh... Obviously, they do it on purpose, but... Earlier, we were mentioning how we didn't see the side of grace because we didn't see the particle effect off of it. They don't have them here. It's like the um, it's like the path of grace thing does not go to no cron. <laughs> like, you can't wait. You're not going to. <laughs> no cron. I don't know if I should actually have this shield equipped. Come and think of it. Because if I run into another one of those mimics. And uh, I have a great shield equipped. It's going to be a lot harder to kill it. Ah, it's fine. That's probably the last one we'll ever run into. really using a great shield ever since we uh, stopped using the jellyfish. Go away, slime. Here, hit me. What's this great shield's move? Oh, that one. Okay. Ground tree and Dark Souls one. Fully optional area. You'll cry. <laughs> Celestial. There's a lot of Celestial do down here. Let's go to Azure. Welcome in. Friggin' giant? <laughs> gravity? Does that count as gravity or the giant? <laughs> the gravity killed me. What's up? Cause one of those little slime things became a giant. Oh. <laughs> I was just running through, smacking each one of them, and suddenly. <laughs> uh, one second.
Oops, over there. Share the me. I just, yes, yeah, she is. She made you with an invisible rod. Illusion of Gaia. I remember that game. Chrome blobs, which look similar to these. When you kill them, they would explode and launch bombs to the air. Which would, and then you have to dodge. I, I remember the name of that game. I don't remember very much about it. Ow. Poking match. Oh, there you go. Did that one become something last time? Oh, I think I killed it last time before it did. This great shield is crazy. I haven't really used it. Like I said, the only other time I used a great shield is when we got the um, the jellyfish and I like wanted to just test out the jellyfish. Kill me. Punish for smacking the ooze. That's right. Metapod fight for Pokemon. Yeah, last time I killed that one before it transformed. Okay, so that one became the giant last time. I don't know if they always become the same thing or not, but we're about to find out. What's the last boss? Um, uh, what's it called again? Putrid Tree Spirit and Radon. Okay. I don't want to fight next to that edge. That's why I died last time I fell off. Oh, Mimic Tier, yeah. I guess that's a boss too, technically. All right. Wow, you can kill it before it becomes a giant even. Huh. Hey look, it's where I fell. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I can go that way a little bit, but I don't think I can go around the corner. <clears> oh <throat> yeah, a lot easier to kill in slime form, that's uh that's for sure. Here uh beetle maybe? Some of those others might have turned into, yeah. There's definitely a beetle around here somewhere. Okay, we've only seen one other throne like this, and when we did, it spawned a dragon kid. So I'm really worried that we're gonna have to fight a new kind of dragon kid here. There's a there's a warp gate. God, I should have finished the spirit grounds up there before I got sidetracked all the way down here. And then when I finally found a uh, side of grace down here, I should have warped back up there and finished that area. That's right, I'll go back. I will remember. I also got to remember there was a uh, item in the top of the church here. We probably get two from the roof. I doubt I explored all the roof area. Oh, 
Rapid fire, remembers? Finger Slayer Blade. Great Ghost Glove Words. That's that was a key item. Hidden Treasure, the Eternal City of Nocron. Hidden Treasure, the Eternal City of Nocron, a blade said to have been born of a corpse. This blood-drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the Eternal City and symbolizes its downfall. It cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. Thirty-three thousand runes. Oh man, I should go use them before we go through this warp gate, just in case that takes us to a, a boss. So, I have the egg sit part. Was not paying attention. Yeah. Yep. This one does that a lot. Okay, it's just a shiny spot. It's like, is that an item up there? I missed. Well, there's only one to respawn all the mimics. I know I'm just going to run through them, or I'm going to try to run through them. Um, there's only one other lore bit that I remember recently that we've done that speaks about um, in the same terms as that one. Um, and it's to do with uh, Rainy and Blythe and all of them, so... Oh, those are three. Room threes. Whoops. I only needed to use one of them. I was paying attention. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. All right. Let's see if we can actually just run through to that gate. We already know what all these are. We've killed them all. Here hours in this game. You remember the rune values other than you? <laughs> I only recently started using them. Had so many. Look it up. Oh yeah, I was checking how many. Uh, or I was, I was using. Um, topping it off so I can actually do a level. All right, let's see where this goes. What are souls? I always, I, I keep calling them that too. All right, well there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Um, so, uh, I just said I should have finished the spirit grounds up here before I went down there. And it warped me back to this, the spirit grounds. Alright. So I just gotta remember to try to get back down and go to the roof of that church. Um, but let's do the spirit grounds like I said I was going to. Let's rest here. My recent RimWorld episodes had 31. Does it? I have I have had the chance. I just put it up. Wait, which one? 86? Which one are you talking about? Because I do have some that have a lot of views, like hundreds of thousands, but. Right so far that which did not have a fog door before them? Yes. Yep. There have been bosses without fog doors. Mainly the major bosses, yep. Yeah. Not like the uh, the little mini dungeon bosses or whatever. Let's go on Queen Bee. Welcome in. Yeah, I think my uh, No Mods Cassandra Rimworld video has like 600,000 views. The Pain is Virtue Tundra episode one. No, I didn't realize it had so many views. I haven't, I've not been able to really concentrate on YouTube very much recently because of everything going on. She doesn't, uh, oh god. She doesn't, uh, stagger like the other ones. I was not expecting that. She's a lot stronger. Let's try the shield on these guys. Great shield is crazy, what? <laughs> I 
fine. It seems like unless they have like a really hard hitting move, like these normal enemies anyway, or a kick or a grab, I can just hold the shield and poke them. Here comes your boyfriends, white knights. Yeah, and just with a shield, you just R1, R1, R1. Don't need to roll, don't need to do anything. R1. Crazy shields are so fun, it's really crazy. They're just super heavy. Great shields are great, it turns out. Uh, how many more of these do we need to do? I think that's our third one. Is there six? Looks like there's probably six. Ride 500 miles yesterday. <laughs> that's a long distance for an impromptu. Oh man, there's another one to light over there. A lot of those. There's a Red Wolf of Radigan here, which is kind of weird. Huh. Hmm. I wonder what the connection is there. My Fire and Souls game, never a good idea. This is the third Red Wolf that we found, if I remember right. First one was a boss in Ray of Lucaria, which made sense. The second one I didn't really figure out yet. It was behind Caria Manor in the graveyard. And now there's one here in the spirit grounds. What was the move set on this thing? I don't remember. Okay, it has the leap. It has the, and I think it has that move where it jumps up and uh, shoots crap at you. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to remember what you, all you do. Try the shield on this thing. Wow, it even blocks really well on these. Like what? <laughs> Fast move I was trying to remember it. Right. I'll string them up to the shield down and fight fight. He's not here today. God, it's a good thing I fought the tree thing yesterday. Alright. Yo, he's so fun. Yeah, I fought the... I killed the big boss on my first try, and it's a little one. Just got me. I had to pay attention. Is there a playthrough currently? Outer Ring is more important, yeah. Uh, where did it spawn me? Oh, what? I mean, I can fight on the horse, I just don't want to. It would make it easier, though. That seemed to hit harder than the last one I ran into. I don't want to get the other wolves involved. Can I pull you over here?
two on that one. Okay. I don't know why. I was trying to dodge the sword move. I knew that wasn't the sword move. I know he's gonna do the second hit. Well, that was the worst I've ever done against one of those. I don't know why exactly. Maybe not a good sign of things to come today. I'm down, boy. Okay, man, he's gonna use this game. Oh. Alright, uh, let's light this and then I'm gonna see if he responds or not. Magic using dogs. Let's go ahead and Jeremy welcome in. Back up to nine. Okay, I don't. I don't need to go back then. Well, I gotta go over there. Oh, what? They have all these rats around them. Last time I tried to... Oh, it's two of those ones, too. The braid ones. Anyway, last time I tried to backstab one of those, it did not work out very well. What? It was still there. I have to come back and get that. So much stable damage, it's crazy. Oh, she's run.
so peaceful and harmless when they're like that, yeah. Alright, well, I gotta go over there. Even though I'm not done up here. I gotta remember to come back and get that beetle, too. I think that was a uh, ash beetle because it was white, I think. An ash of war beetle, which I probably won't end up using, but still. This looks like an amazing place to swim, honestly. What are those spirit guys doing? Why aren't they down here swimming? Ah, there's not going to be bosses anywhere. I don't know. That other place I thought was going to be a boss ended up not being one. Golden Room 12. I'm really shocked there was a boss at that, um giant throne spot. Are those? Oh, okay. Oh, those are just rocks. I thought I saw, saw imps. Is that a just a normal one? What, is, what am I seeing? Are you special? Are you harder than the other ones? Put my lamb back on. Are there more of you in here? Did I answer me? It's one of the okay. It's just one of the breed ones. used to do a fire bomb be thrown right to you <laughs> that's what i was looking for is other things around on the side i've had that happen quite a bit all right let's see what was uh what was down here ancestral in ancestral infant's head that's what these guys are holding what kind of item was that Use, use FP to spray spirit vapor. Skull of a very young ancestral spirit. Just think how many sproutlings it might bear. The vapor becomes a temporary geyser, which deals continuous damage to everything it touches until it disappears. Interesting. Trying to keep the pan pan strong. Just doing a good job of it. Better 360, 160. Thanks, Twitch app. We're always choosing the worst possible choice. Even though you're on your home Wi-Fi. Yeah. Man, the entrance to this area is a, probably the prettiest place I've seen maybe in like any game. I don't know if we're in a spot that we can really see it right now, but it's it's really pretty. Yeah, like over there. I'm not I'm not over close enough to show the full detail, but we will end up wrapping back around if you haven't seen it. Yeah, so the Red Wolf of Radigan does not respawn. Okay. Not, uh, the other one didn't, hasn't either. The other ones that we found. So I, I didn't figure it would, but. Setting stone four. Jellyfish. Let's see if my theory is still true. Going wrong, welcome in. Skybox, there. yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. All right, I was gonna, there was a beetle over here I missed.
All right, Beetle. I was fighting rats last time. All right, what, what do you have? Ash of War Enchanted Shot. So yeah, something I'll never use. But I got it nonetheless. Beetle, cockroach milk? No, no, no. Uh, that history is way in the past now. We don't, we don't talk about cockroach milk anymore. That's a really old channel discussion at this point. For real. Okay, jellyfish. So earlier I was talking about how every time we've been in an area that has the friendly jellyfish, there ends up being some kind of loot there. It seems. So I feel like they're leading me to loot again. <laughs> they, they really forgot about that milk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, this is the ones from earlier. Yeah, it led me over there earlier. Okay. I've literally just looped around. How many of those have we lit? Uh, lit? Maybe, maybe like five. I've been here too long. Goodbye forever. Oh no! Wait, I yeah, I hadn't said that yet. Yeah, we've already gone up there. There was an item up there. Okay. I don't think I've lit that one. Have I? There's one way to find out. Maybe it's that one over there I haven't lit. I have not lit this one. Yep, that was the last one. All right. Let's go see what this spawned. Goodbye forever. So a long time ago, we lit beacons like that down the lower level. And it spawned... A spirit boss at the temple. Let's go see if that happens again. I might should do a prediction. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be shocked if this doesn't spawn a boss. Yeah, it's, it's lit up. The question is, is it going to be the same as the last time we fought one? You're going to start a prediction? Am I going to beat this boss on my first try? Go away! You guys want to wager some channel points? <laughs> what should not be a boss this time? That's alright. We can just refund if it ends up not being a boss. Alright, it is up. You can click uh, down below chat if you don't see the pop-up. Um, and you can wager if I'm going to beat this on the first time seeing it or not. And then um, you can click on the number to choose what you want to wager. Starts at 10, but you're all in. Uh, how much is that? <laughs> 500 points on no. Tats all in on yes. The thing is, you just never know. Well, I mean, unless you know, if, unless you've been here and seen the bosses. We've had lots of bosses that we killed in the first try. And then we have, like yesterday, where uh, it took me 70 tries to kill that friggin' thing. How many hours? I think, like, uh, I think we hit 70 hours, if I remember right. But I've explored a whole lot. Every little nook and cranny. It's a coin flip for you. <laughs> Alright, time's up. Let's see. Let's see. Is it going to do the same thing as the one down at the other place? It is, I think. Yep, there's the boss door. Okay. But I don't know if it's going to be the same thing or not. 
long game. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking my playthrough is going to be over 100 hours, I guess. All right, there's a respawn down here. Here we go. It's boss time. Let's go and KO. Are you wanting to see the boss, lady? Where you want to see? Better run. I'm going in. Yeah, the boss. You bet. Against the majority for the bigger payout. Oh, a little Cthulhu coloring thing. You want me to wait to go in? She says no. All right, let's go. Half your 20 year run. <laughs> it's another one of them. Yep. I don't remember the move set. Regal Ancestor Spirit. So it does like two hops and then the third hop it comes down. This one seems to have more melee stuff than the other one. Calm down guy, I'm just trying to learn the moves. What? This one can teleport. <laughs> but did you just spawn? Goats? <laughs> are those... Are those not friendly goats? I thought it looks very similar to the kick the other one did. I think I just walked by a hippo. That was the other kick. Yeah, I don't know. They're not attacking me. That is a warthog. Jump attack in there because he's too tall. God, it heals. <sighs> I think it absorbed those animals to heal. Okay. So new. Kind of 
wish I was using my other weapon. doing the double hit move. I was expecting it to be the same as the other one. I don't know why I was expecting it to be the same, but it's it's a lot different actually. Right. I think we got it this time. Let's go and breeze. Oh, come in. Easy boss can catch you off guard. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the same item. Over six now. I only lost because Tat voted for yes. We caught you. Uh, the same way <laughs> as you thought it was going to be the same as the previous one. I was not expecting that roll move at all. That was weird. Vote opposite of tech, extreme payouts.
see if I could punish it, but apparently not.
making me like go after him when I roll. I'm gonna try that. Cause I like dodge it, but then I like go towards him after and get hit. Remembrance? Remembrance of the Regal Ancestor. Man, that was long because it kept healing. Crazy. Hell, you going to stare? I don't know. The roll move, so it would be like I would dodge it, but then his body would like push me into it again. Anyway, it's done. Much different than the first fight against one of those guys. So, yeah, so welcome in. Lauding. Yeah, I really like the soundtrack on that area. Take the powerful of its power of its namesake via finger reader. Remember to the regal ancestor spirit hewn from or into the Erd tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. Ancestral spirits exist as a phenomenon beyond the purview of the Erd tree. Life sprouts from death, and it does from birth. Such is the way of living. Wow, I we got something from the for the finger reader for that. <laughs> Speedrun win. This is the opposite of a speedrun. I've been exploring every little corner I can possibly see. So. Barely least favorite bosses you fought so far? Uh, my favorite bosses so far was the two yesterday. Um, uh, Radon and the putrid tree spirit. Um, putrid tree spirit that I found yesterday was the first boss that I got stuck on in the game. Everything else we've beaten pretty pretty quickly. My least favorite was the triple crystallion, which was just kinda because I'm doing all melee for one and I'm um, not like using ashes or anything, it felt really it felt like artificial difficulty. It was a really tiny arena, and there was three crystallion bosses all in the same spot, and they also all gave Scarlet Rot. So it was like really like so it was it was pretty annoying. Yeah, that's probably my least favorite. There's nothing in here, huh? Cool. Triple H Stallion, yeah. I probably shouldn't have even been there when I was there, honestly. I was doing like not great damage against them anyway. But I found the cave by accident. Well, not really completely by accident. We found a note. We found a note that um, from a vendor in the Dragon Barrow area that um, said to look at a precipice beyond the graveyard and it took a long time. Like I was about to give up and then I tried to jump up a cliff and then the door appeared. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. 
Rajan was cool. Yeah, I really liked Rajan. The whole thing, like going into the castle. I didn't know what was. I didn't know anything, right? Obviously, because I'm blind to it. But going into the castle, and I'm like, what? Where is everyone? Why aren't there enemies here? And there's the chanting going on. I like Rajan's story so far too. Uh, let's go see what the finger reader has with this. Can you? Oh, right, surface. Oops. Do you need to get to like a checkpoint or something to save? I, didn't, uh, I don't think so, no, because I've had the game crash a couple times, for instance, and when I come back up, it's just where I where I crashed, so. So nothing I know of. Yeah. Love watching it on another stream. Yeah, oh, we got a bell bearing to give as well. And this is not the finger reader anyway, but. So she sells those now. You have anything new to say in here, Gideon? Journey to the two fingers. Nope. You may be out. Nope. Oh yeah, we need to go to the lift today too. Fought Radon yesterday? Yeah, he was one of the first things I did on the stream yesterday, so early into the stream I fought Radon. Yeah. So what Rainy says now? I mean, we haven't found Blythe down there or anything yet. We can go back and see if she says anything different, I guess, while we're up here, but... You have returned. Uh, so this winged great horn and ancestral spirit horn. A unique horn, a unique horn in which the power of ancestral spirits fiercely dwells. This large wing-shaped specimen is wielded as a weapon of spirit worship. In the ancestral spirit worshiping faith, these are considered envoys' wings, made to reap the lives of beings which experience no sprouting. It comes with a soul stifler. Raise the Great Horn's wings to summon a soul-sapping miasma. Enemies in the affected area will temporarily suffer from reduced defense. This is, uh... That's a strength dex item, huh? 30 strength, 20 dex, wow. This will uh, restore FP upon defeating enemies. Interesting. Item cut from the horns of a regal ancestor spirit. Restores FP upon defeating enemies. A number of new growths bud from the ant like horns of the fallen king, each glowing with lights. Thus does new life grow from death, and from death one obtains power. Do we get its clothing? <laughs> no. <laughs> now no clothing. go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. I really shouldn't have gone to that mausoleum right after him. I... That place is the, uh... Everything in there was really like, like even the normal enemies in there were taking like seven hits, including like backstabs and stuff. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been there. But then I found it and I was like, no, I, I'm here. I got to do it. I got to finish it. Yeah, we'll see if she says anything new. But we uh we haven't seen Blythe down there yet. Too, I'm looking for. We we already found a path across where there's a crucible knight. Man, that crucible knight is in just a tiny, tiny little spot. I really don't look forward to fighting it down there. Celestial spirit helm with the antlers would be so cool. Yeah, I actually really liked the um, the putrid tree spirit thing because it was one that I I had to completely figure out the move set to beat it the way that I'm I'm playing. So I like trying to figure those things out. There was a, there's quite a few BS deaths on it for sure, but because of the arena mainly. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber, I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces the are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. 
Oh my god. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange I wasted gift so much time there. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent too for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. Oh my god, I wasted so much time with that stupid tower. And I, I just, I bet that's, I just needed that item, I think. What is it? You may go. Are gonna be hard to beat? I think I so. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. One more question. Um, support columns, even really big rooms. Missing about collapses. You can have 11 by X opening under a mountain. So you can have 11 by like whatever. So you can have enormous rooms without columns and walls as long as they're giant rectangles basically or they're rectangles set off from one another. But yeah, six tiles, um, seven counting the wall away from it. I usually do 11 by X opening and they won't, uh, they won't. What is it? I too. Okay. Um, let's go to that tower. Oh man, I'm gonna get sidetracked. But so what I'm talking about for anyone that wasn't here, holy crap, that was, that was forever ago. I know I keep saying that today, but like this was a long, a long time ago. We went to the Carrion Study Hall. It's one of the first places I came here. I beat this annoying bow spirit person. They didn't kill me, it was very close, but I beat them. And then I saw an area where it looked like there was a button hanging down and I tried to hit it. I went through the rafters. I, I was there a long time and I was like, Maybe we have to put an item in that first spot that it says before we could even do anything here. And eventually I begrudgingly left. And I think that's the item we just got. I mean, it, it makes sense, obviously, by the name of it. Let's take a look. Oh, I wasted so much time there. <laughs> Carrion Study Hall. Statuette of a scholar with ground and sky inverted. It reveals the hidden form of the Carrion Study Hall, which connects to the Divine Tower. To unveil the secret, affix it to the pedestal of the celestial globe. Man, oh man. Well, so it goes. All right, I'm gonna use the, you did the exact same thing. You just kept looking. It's like, there's gotta be a way. You did the same thing also. <laughs> uh, 11 on the inside, 13 including walls, yeah. I'm gonna use the restroom really quick. I don't know if this is gonna open up a whole big part. So let me do that really quick. Uh, what time is it? Oh, okay. Uh, it'll take just a second. This new trial thing they're doing with me, um, it's a twice a day thing. So I have to, I have to take it now too. Anyway, it'll only take a second. I'll be right back.
Alright. Yesterday, hopefully that doesn't happen today. Yesterday during the second dose of this crap, it uh it may be shaky. I was showing my wife when she came in yesterday during a cake how I was shaking. I really I God, I don't know. What? Uh 7D, are you still there? Uh sorry, I didn't I didn't even hear it. Hang on a second. Halo, are you there? I did see that, R squared. So I wife's like favorite band. Halo's gone? Oh my god, Halo. No, no, no. Uh, do you know them, Bed Soap? 70. Uh, thank you for the 760 bits. I very much appreciate it. I'm sorry I missed it during all that craziness, but. There's a reason why I'm asking that about Halo, actually. Friend Chatter, never show again, okay. Alright, so, um, some of you might remember me talking about this. I've mentioned it a couple times, but a couple, uh, probably last time was a few months ago. We were talking about how sometimes someone will be somewhere like every day they'll be hanging out and stuff and then they'll just be gone and you don't know what happened you, you like never see them again you have no idea and halo was one of those people i was talking about i was i was actually kind of worried about them it was like a couple years ago halo used to be here all the time and talking in the stream every day or whatever and then they had I, I won't go into the details but they they posted in the discord about some uh some bad stuff that happened that was going on and how they were super depressed and then i just never saw them again messaged them no response and they, it's weird because like they were just here every day and they were just gone after talking about this thing that happened and how they were extremely depressed and i i had worried ever since and i was i had told people on the stream before i was like i think about that and i just don't know you know i have no idea what happened to the person i hope that they are just like all right i need to disconnect from um platforms or whatever for a while uh so yeah i man i wish i had not missed that during that Crap. Chambler, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate Chambler. Here I know it could be scary. Yeah, especially like I said, they were here every day, talking every day, talking on Discord. Yeah, Halo resubbed when I was uh, doing that fight. Yeah. Anyway, no, I guess that means they're they're alive. <laughs> so that's very good. Hopefully they come back, man. Guys, that was like two, maybe three years ago when that happened. It's, and then just suddenly come, comes in today and resubs. <laughs> you don't even remember them? They changed their name to Halo. It wasn't their name originally. Presumably, that platform we couldn't get to will now be accessible, I, I imagine. I should probably uh, use my runes before this. This is tier three. I didn't actually check how much we need to level. I was pretty close, like 2k off. Okay, how many of these can give again? 400 each? Oh god, it's 800 each. Oh well. Alright. Let's go see! <laughs> enemies you've seen are definitely the lines the swords on them everything very biased that you love lines yeah um it's crazy how early on you can see one of those right i whoa 
There's one in uh, Stormvale Castle, like right in the entrance, if you go through the gate or you backtrack to the gate. We're in the upside down. Yeah, I was... Uh... For some reason, I didn't think it was going to flip the whole place. I just thought it was going to flip that platform that we couldn't get to before. Beware of the Demigorgon. When's the next season of that show coming out? Oh, I forgot about the stupid hands. That's the first place we had seen the hands. This tower. May 27th? Oh, it's sooner than I thought. Yeah, this is the very first place we found those hands. I already killed you! He respawns? What a, what a jerk. Deny him over there. Did he ever die? Yeah, I absolutely killed him when I was first here. He didn't fall off. I killed him. He was, uh... He was trying to follow me up, this, up the ladder. And as soon as he got to the top, I killed him. Your watch you got here? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's BS, man. Yeah. Man, I just remember too, last time I was here, I I got on all the chandeliers. I was like, is there a hidden switch on a chandelier? I jumped to all of them. I did all that crap. It turned out. Yep. Yeah, exact same crap as before. Turned out I did all that for no reason. God, I hate this guy. Content is the reason. Level of the rune. Thank you. No, you don't lock onto those. Still alive. I don't know where he is down there, but what? <laughs> what? Last time we were here, there were only um, like the zombie-ish little ghosts that were easy to kill. That 
friggin' hand. Wow, that guy's at like one health. That hand staggered me right as I was about to get... I should have been greedy, I guess. Should have rolled once, but... That sucks. Kind of out looking jerky. The cat Logan, not quite. Some of them. <sighs> the water doesn't consider it necessary to switch gravity in. Apparently not. <laughs> Man, that's stupid hands. Had it too. Oh, it's the first time he's killed us. Last time we were here, we killed him first try. This time he got us, but. Give you a hand. Apologies, that was horrible. <laughs> Sorry, there's been so many puns here the last couple days. time with him this time for no reason. Crafted three hands together at the wrist. Yeah. To the hand again. That was nowhere near how we did last time. Jeez. Lost the runes. I don't think we had much. We just spent. So, Starting a new game today. Guardians? What is Guardians? He got runes leveled up. It's going to real. Has the upper hand now. <laughs> Man, I can't believe uh, I didn't kill him that first time when he had, like, a sliver of health. Oh, crap, I thought that one was dead. Um, I really should have checked and seen if I could upgrade my weapon now to the old Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, okay. game where like the very first time I'm somewhere I'll do it better and then I'll die like 10 times before I'm like oh yeah that's what I did the first time so I this place first time chilling on the ceiling I know I shot them the first time because I didn't know that we were really going to come back I shot them down with a uh, bow and arrow when I was first here I know I was much more careful I waited <laughs> I, I killed the hands I killed the little knight guy first I guess maybe I'm just trying to rush too much now Good run, you'll have two bad runs. It's a Dark Souls rule, it kind of is, huh? How come you have infinite FP, huh? Seems like BS to me as well. Oh, 
Ó. Trying to go fast because I saw the ghost guy coming. Right. You're overconfident in all other games that he's done or something like this. I think it's just habit, yeah. What a spammer. Why does the air have to explode so large? I don't know. I don't Couldn't really because of the the lock on, I guess. Hands down. I'm just afraid that guys are going to get at a good spot and hit me the bow while I'm fighting this guy. So. Trying to be like super cautious against this one. Yeah, like he's, he's right over there. That gun. He can see me. We're caught here. Are there hands over where he is? Yeah, because that's why I died last time, or the first time. And he was at like a sliver of a health. There, finally. Maybe he'll actually stay dead this time. He did it again. Alleviates buildup of sleep and madness. Interesting. Uh, one of the sorceries of the Carrion Royal Family. The Carrion Knights never wafer. Finally, peace and quiet. Use my great rune. I have my great rune equipped. That, that's what you mean. The one that gives me extra stats. Godric's great rune. Oh, you mean the other things? No, no, no. Yeah, I have to get, I have to save that, the consumable versions of all that stuff, like rune arcs and stuff, until I get stuck on, like, an actual hard boss. You know? I don't want to use them up too early.
I thought the great rune had a passive and when you used a rune arc, it increased the the amounts. So I'm just understanding what I, how I read it. Mask of confidence. Confidence. I didn't even look at what that looked like. Mass with a mouth sewn shut with gold thread increases arcane. When Radigan married Renala, he ordered the Carrion Magic Preceptors to don these masks to make it clear that all of their matters were to be kept strictly private. Boss that takes 76. Ah, yeah, that wasn't. That one wasn't too hard. Mechanic of what? The Great Runes? Lord Swan Shield. Hey, that's, that's what I'm wearing. I think that's what I'm wearing. Right. Well, I mean, if if there's just not a passive, then I understand I need to use a rune arc to have a temporarily or temporary stat boost, but. An account name? Wait, what? Wait, did I miss something? Don't I know about the Great Runes mechanic? Trevor! 30 months! Why did that pop up over there? It's not popping up on... Hang on, let me refresh this. Like, I didn't even hear the thing. Oh yeah, yeah, I see now. It's still not showing. Maybe that's why I missed the other one. Morg, <laughs> thank you for the 37 months. And Trevor, thank you for the 30. I don't know why it's not working. No, no, no. Blame Twitch. What's going on? Why are, is there more of you? Oh, no. I thought I heard uh, another one of those other jerks. Yeah, I don't know why it's not it's not working correctly. But thank you guys. Yeah, see it's not doing it's not showing me. I can see it in chat. Morg, thank you for the gift sub to ASDF Zundler. Thank you, Morg. I appreciate that too. Um I don't think that's gonna kill me. I do need to make some more of those, even if I didn't want to use them here. I use these quite a lot. I can make a lot of them. Yeah. There was a granny summon too? What's going on? How long was that? Like, it doesn't show it over there at all. Who, who did the summon? It was you? Did you already? Yeah, it, it doesn't show on the list over here at all. I don't know what's going on. Blame Twitch. Did you already do a, um, a quote 7D or do you want to do a new one? Now Morg's gift sub came. Thank you again, Morg. <laughs> well, it's not my fault, yeah. And then Trevor's came through now too. All right. So like my dear old granny used to say, she was always saying this. Granny had very different shower thoughts than other people. Oh, I think you 70. <laughs> yeah, sorry I missed that. I don't know what's going on. Twitch is, has like this really big delay on redemptions and free subs and stuff. So now I'm supposed to go. 
that's where I was trying to get a long time ago. Man, that was so long ago. All right. Here we go. There were rats up here last time. And there's another item now. Okay. So in this case, this message. Oh yeah, yeah, no worries. I, I did miss it, yeah. It's not a, not a big deal. I mean, I don't think it is. But no, I don't, I don't mind if you want to, uh, if it's not like a spoiler, spoiler. I don't mind about the great runes. But the way it was worded in the game, it made it sound like there was a passive and then you use the rune art to make the holy proof dry liver. You use the rune art to increase that even further, but I'm, I'm trying, I don't remember the exact wording, but that's what, how it like seemed when I first read it in game. So it doesn't work that way apparently, huh? Firefly. So the rats must have fallen down. All right. Engineers awake for decades and they realize they need cows to fight for machines instead. <laughs> so this is the button I was trying to shoot. I was like trying to shoot it with arrows and bolts. I was like, maybe those aren't hard enough. Turns out I just literally couldn't do that <laughs> when I was here last time. Draws power of the Great Rune. The Rune Arc basically works like humanity from Dark Souls 1. Use it. Now the Great Rune's buff. Yeah. Until you die, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to re-read what it says to see where, uh, why I thought it was a passive to start and then rune art to increase that further. I think I made it all the way around. It's so weird. This place is wonderfully strange. Should I open the door like this? Oh no, why is it doing this? Why is there a cutscene door? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that item too, yeah. Thank you. The dating sim segment starts. Uh, well, I'm ready for that. Yeah, I think that's that's why, because it says item effect raises all attributes. So that's why it sounds like, all right, if I wear this item, it literally raises all attributes, but it raises all attributes if you use a rune arc. Why is the door right set up on the side? Because we're outside of the tower. Only the tower is upside down. Let's go Indy. Last time I was on one of these bridges, there was three giants. Sound like they have a pass effect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what it sounds like. Even the tutorial does, yeah. That's, uh... They're not worded very... Very well. What is it? The crap is that? <laughs> All right, well, that's new. A new kind of enemy. 
This apron has faces on it. All right, let's see what you do. Magic. See how stamina damage you do. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Can I just poke you? Ooh. He has a lot of health. See how much two hand does. comes out pretty fast. Okay, that move is kind of like the spirit guys. has a tail like the Crucible Knight's summon. Holy Christ, I didn't see that. Well, I mean, that was the first time I used that move, but that is so much damage on that move. Jesus. His other moves weren't really hitting that hard. <laughs> he would leather in the flesh. Think. Cough the tail for a weapon. No, yeah, I think about that too. That was, uh, that attack was a little bit different. You can use your horse here. I can literally just ride past him. I'm not gonna ride past him. I wanna kill him. He's a Rimworld Elite or Human Leather. So that one move is really delayed. I gotta wait to roll on that. move to get behind him also, okay. Maybe he's, uh, resistant against thrust. Maybe I should try my heavy weapon after this if I die again. I'm stuck in the corner. I mean, that is only the same time I've seen that move, but... <laughs>
far can he actually roll? Well, pretty far it turns out. He's only ever hit twice of that. not have gotten in that step area. Oh, oh okay. Alright. <laughs> you sat on me, I'm dead. Final boss of the Walmart experience, that's right. I think we can just kill him with this, but just out of curiosity, I want to try uh, my other weapon. Just see if he really just takes, like very low damage or if it's um uh, he's resistant to my damage so no I don't want to and I still forgot to go try to upgrade stuff huh no steal his armor so I'm, I'm probably gonna die with this one but I feel like I just I just want to see like, if he's not weak to this, it's going to be a lot harder with this weapon, but I, I want to see, so. Thanks a lot. When he's almost de dead, probably could one-shot you. Bring me cake. I mean, I could beat him with this. It's possible. way too long. It doesn't seem like he's weak to, to strike, so... I, the jump attack on this might actually go through one of his attacks and make it not hit. Not that one. No! 
<laughs> yeah, definitely going better with the other weapon. <laughs> Get back. I had to see if he was weak to strike, you know. Mana combat. No, I try not to for the most part. Mana combat does make a lot of these types of things easier, so I try not to do it. Mary Antoinette's hairpin. <laughs> Weird tail for some ungodly reason, yeah. Alright, it was worth checking. Let's go back to our main, our normal weapon. There's been quite a few bosses you can use your mount on that I haven't, just because. So it sometimes feels a little bit cheesy because you, a lot of them you can literally just ride a circle around them, and I don't know if he's gonna like that or not, but a lot of them you can actually just ride a circle around them and damage them. Stuck on him. Yep. I was not like you in that corner like that. Like, I had no stamina. You can't roll through him. Diving. Oh, you diving. Thank you for the resub. Six months already. Thank you, diving. Move that no ice is coming on first try. It's killed by the move telegraph two hours in advance. <laughs> Yeah, it's because it's you can't roll through hitboxes, so I was just I was just hidden in that corner. That's unfortunate. <whistles> Damage despite being so much lower level. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It just takes so takes so uh, it's so slow. Let's reset this guy. Already. I, uh, it was a bad start to things. I could get on my horse and run away from the roll moves, maybe.
How are you faster than a horse? Oh, there was more bridge behind me. That's crazy. <sighs> Let's play something again. Yeah, the other one's a somber weapon, though. Somber seems to level up slower. Horse always screws you over like that, too. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go inside now. It's going okay. I was doing pretty well there until I tried to get away with the horse. I think the horse might still be fine. It's just that we... I thought we ran out of bridge. Misread which move he was doing. I have the whole friggin' bridge, basically. Time to anticipate one of those and get on the horse. He was doing the roll. I don't know why I thought he was doing that.
Oh my god. God skin noble set. Man, that guy has so much health. Gold skin noble robe. All right, let's see what this uh, stuff says. All that extra padding, Jesus. Tree fight, and to pay into. Ugly Betty. <laughs> More cushion for the sword pushing the first enemy like yeah, it is. God skin. Hood made by sewing together patches of smooth skin. Subcutaneous continuous, I don't know. Fat makes it plump and soft, worn by gold skin nobles. Nobles are the most ancient apostles, who are said to have assimilated in human physiology, not unlike the crucible, the Erd tree in its primordial form. Huh. Look at this thing. What the... Steal his identity. Robe made by sewing together patches. Yeah. So it says the same thing. What is the, uh, what are the stats on this nasty thing? It's very light. Very, very low. Uh, physical defense. You wouldn't think you wouldn't think so with like no poise based on that guy's health, but or, I mean, uh, how long it took to kill him? Maybe he has just a crap load of health. Try it on anyway. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Infected. The marshmallow man. It's us. <laughs> All right. Yeah, get out of that pose. All right. Smell of that outfit. Ugh. Let's go in here. Watch him respawn. I gotta know. I am become Marshmallow, Eater of Worlds. He actually didn't give very much. Uh, no, he just. Well, I don't know. He just spawned, right? So. Love wearing human leather. Puts the lotion on his coat. <laughs> Rotten leather. Some foul stuff. The question is, will he respawn? I don't think so. I think he's right here is a respawn. But the fact that. Hold on, there's whoops. Sanctuary stones everywhere. Uh, the fact that he gave us an armor set makes me think he probably won't respawn. Well. Yeah, you have the other tower too, we have him in there. And there's another place down at the um, the underworld that I found that I need to go back to. Divine Tower of Lear Learnia. Man, I tried to get here so early in the game. I'm glad I eventually gave up because apparently it was impossible to get in here. <laughs> Alright, the long elevator. I 
Should have checked behind that for an item. Last time I tried to watch it, it's a little too real. Mark of Death and Stargazer Heirloom. Curse Mark carved into the discarded flesh of Rainy the Witch, also known as the Half Wheel, Wound of the Centipede. This Curse Mark was carved at the moment of death of the first demigod, should have taken the shape of a circle. However, two demigods perished at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half wheels. Rainy was the first of the demigods whose flesh perished, while the Prince of Death perished in soul alone. Uh, Talisman. Talisman engraved with a legend of a queen raises intelligence. The young astrologer gazed the night sky as she walked. She had always chased the stars every step of her journey. Then she met the full moon, and in time, the astrologer became a queen. Uh, all right. I gotta check something. I know. I said I wouldn't go back. I know, it's Ronnie. I know, the NPCs pronounce it Ronnie. I like it as Rainy. When they first, um, when they first, when she first showed up, uh, Rinny and Ronnie. I heard her name so many times now. Oh, I, I know, yeah, I absolutely know. Art thou now assured of thy want? That's just three spec, right? Be not but is this alarmed. chest open now? That's what I was coming back to see. It's still locked. Let's go to Ronnie's Rise. Ronnie sounds so much worse than Rainy. Yeah, there's no... So, during this, I don't know if you're still here, but I, I've tried to say this multiple times. If a message gets deleted, it's not like you're you're getting banned. It's not like anything's bad or something's like you have a permanent mark on your record. If, if a message is timed out during this, it's just literally a just-in-case sort of thing. Like, there's no way for mods to know um, what is or isn't really a part of the game or if I've experienced that part of the game or if it has something to do with it or even if it's just a joke or whatever. So it's just one of those like better safe than sorry thing because early on we were I was getting a lot of like real spoilers. So it's just like a precautionary, all right, let me delete this message and then we'll see if that was actually a thing. And if not, you know, oh, then sure, repost or whatever. But it's not like a, it, it's, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just literally a message deleted. Goodbye forever. How's it going, Trevor? Thank you again, by the way. Oh god, almost went straight into that. I see what matter. Yeah, it's, it's nothing like a, a ban or something. The timeout is just to delete the message as a precaution thing. That's it. Oh, I 
here comes King Losers. <laughs> She's not here anymore. Hmm. Masuru, 31 months, Masuru. I was gonna say already, but that's a long time. Uh, we didn't go talk to Sullivan after this stuff either. Sullivan. Thank you, Masuru. That is a very long time. Not to lives. And so I'm going to check on this guy and then um, I'm going to go back to the uh, the underworld. Wolves are still here. But yeah, if, if you get a message timed out during this, it's like, it's not, it's not a big deal. If it's some kind of like, if it turns out to be some kind of big legitimate, just being a jerk sort of spoiler, then you'll get banned, not a message timeout, you know? And Sam, Savage Games had a special initial difficulty you could choose that scaled on enemy bosses. Make over leveling not really helpful. I, I mean, whatever the developers, I don't, I don't mind. Like either way, like, yeah, I don't know. I'd be fine with it. I would probably use it if that existed. Yeah. Solus is dead. Celibus bell bearing, big hat, long gown, gloves, trousers. What? That, we've starlight shards, finger maiden, Therolina puppets. Summon spirit of finger maiden Therolina. One of Celephus's Celephus's puppets. Spirit of Finger Maiden who never met the Tarnish. She was meant to guide. Uses healing incantations and holy water pots. She's not a fighter by nature and is ill suited to battle. A maiden without a tarnished. Tarnished without a maiden. And yet no guide to bring them together. Hmm. Sorry. Scaling's the worst. Well, I think they meant as an option. As an option. But yeah, some games do not do it well for sure. But I mean, yeah, I, whichever way they would have put it, I would have, I would have done so. But yeah, I'm not too. I don't. I don't really mind either way. Um, spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a living jar. What a jar hurling specialist who throws all manner of pots and jars. The warrior jar once told the nameless man this: "You are not yet ready to join the warriors inside. No, you must apply yourself, better yourself, and one day I will return for you." That is so crazy. So I just learned yesterday that that's what's inside the jars. I mean, I guess I just buy these. Huh. Let's read his gear. And I wasn't expecting him to be dead. Large hat with the movements of the stars drawn on the inside of the brim, worn by the magic preceptors who serve the Carrion Royals. Increases mine to the detriment of stamina. Glintstone sorcerers are the descendants of astrologers. A fact that the Carrions remain aware of, even if their fate has been long severed from the stars. It's the same thing. Wow. I wonder why his bell bearing is going to uh, open up the finger reader. Is there someone, someone up here? <laughs> What's inside the jars? Um, basically the guts of warriors. 
So after the battle yesterday, the big story boss battle with Radon, the only jar that we really met that uh, like an NBC that'll talk, well, we, I don't count the great jar, but Alexander, the warrior jar, uh, was at the battlefield and he was digging. He was digging in like the bones and stuff. And I talked to him and he was, he was basically saying that he needs to become stronger and to do so, he needs to add more great warriors to his innards. The great jar. Is there any connection to this in the Dark Souls games? I have, there's like some nods to it, but so far story-wise, I haven't seen any specific connections. I'm sure there's gonna end up being some like, um, did we ever, were we ever able to go in that tower? No, it never unlocked. Let's go look at that. Anyway, um, I'm sure there's gonna be theories that kind of link them together, but I haven't, I'm not gonna look at that kind of stuff until I'm done with this, of course. Dying path through Shadow Rambles. Are you playing hardcore? That was our there's our thank you for the Twitch Prime. Very much appreciated. Finish the VODs, catch up to watch streams, keep making them faster than you can watch them. <laughs> uh, thank you, Azor. Here you wanna hear some crazy news though? YouTube is five months behind. I have there's like there's probably about four hundred hours of maybe five hundred of RimWorld runs after the Tundra run that I haven't even uploaded. Um, so yeah, you'll probably never catch up, but thank you for trying. <laughs> Story or help with world design? Uh, I'm not sure what all he helped with. I was under the impression of writing. This is open now. This is Minecraft. Rinna's Rise. Is that finishing the book so he's never going to see? That's right. This wasn't open before, right? I'm remembering correctly. No, it was not open before. All right, well, I have to take it. Man, I, I want to go finish... I'm going to go finish the other zone. But I'm going to see where this goes first. Through the mountains. Still getting through the fluid ideology run. Yeah, thank you, though. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. We just started rewatching Pain is Virtue run. Yeah, that was a good one. There's a, there's a big surprise during the Pain is Virtue run. I'm trying not to ruin for people that haven't seen it, so... <laughs> oh my god, I wasted a lot of time here too. Trying to get here. <laughs> oh my god. Um so we're we're underground again. I need to find a uh, side of grace and then yeah there it is. I'm not doing this right now because we didn't finish the other under part yet, so don't look at stuff. Don't get it yet. Here's the thing for the lurk. Miniature Ronnie. A key item. What the crap? A doll resembling Ronnie the Witch. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. Alright. Uh, I'll come back. Because I'm going to finish the zone that we were in before I go to a new zone. But yeah, this is the area, so a long time ago, not that long ago, actually, maybe last week, we did this part, and there were ants there, and we, that's where we killed the, um, our second dragonkin soldier, the one that had a second phase, and I kept trying to get down here and up here, and there was, um, there was, like, a bridge here, or an item up there that I couldn't get to, and I tried it for a long time, and I was like, well, maybe... We'll find another way down because we've had found other elevators that lead down to this under map. So here we are. We found the way down. But I, I kind of want to go finish the zone that we were in first, I think. I think. An unresponsive doll. Yeah. Talk to miniature Ronnie. Ronnie. 
<laughs> Let's, uh... Don't look at stuff. Immediately pick up an item. Shh. What you did? And the residents almost blew out your ears. <laughs> What the crap? Oh, that's one of those bug things. All right, we've killed one of those. I was like, what is that? All right, I know. Leaf, leaf, leaf. We'll be back. Go to the other place where the Crucible Knight was. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to get as sidetracked. How do I find secret things so fast? I look, I try to f look at everything and I go back to places fairly often. Usually if there's anything that happens at an NPC, I try to go back to things that I remember was related to them. For instance, I really want to go back to Stormvale now that we gave um, uh, Nephili that hawk because that's where we originally found her and Gideon was, has basically disowned her. Um, sorry, I'm going to use the restroom really quick. I'll drink much water with that, uh, with the medic. You, you guys don't need to know. I'll be right back. The old one, almost shiny. Let's finish exploring here that I... Man, I got here so early today. And we're just now getting back to it. Uh, thank you, Arizor. Trying to 100% the game blind. I, I highly doubt I'm going to 100% the game blind. But I feel like my playthrough is going to be... This one th playthrough is going to be like the equivalent of two because of all the stuff. And it doesn't always pan out either. Like I was saying, I explored that stupid tower for probably... I don't know. I probably tried to figure it out for like an hour or two, and then it turns out I didn't have the item. We just got the item today. <clears throat> uh, Deck, thank you for the resub. Two months already. On your way to that full year. Thank you, Deck. Appreciate it. You try to explore a lot the first time through, too, because you might not play it again for a long time. Yeah, that's how I feel. Is I I really do want to play this again, like, pretty much immediately, but it's not feasible for me to do so after I'm done with it on this playthrough on the stream, so... Man, that Crucible Knight is in such a terrible spot. Look at that.
There's an item over there. I mean, I can fight him inside one of these. That's still a really tight arena, especially depending on which special move he has. Of course, the last one that I beat yesterday didn't even give me anything, so it's I'm tempted to just be like, nah. But of course, I have to kill him. What is that? I think it is. He's holding one of those uh, candle weapons. We've seen those somewhere else. I don't remember where it was. The, the weapon, I mean. Sadly, where they hit you. The, yeah, the problem is the tiny arena. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight the knight. All right, let's see what kind of Crucible Knight this is. All right, that's the four hit. My bad, the other one's the, the two hit, the other one hit. <laughs> oh, I got their shield finally. Apparently the arena worked for me <laughs> over him for that's payback for the one outside the friggin' storm veil that kept knocking me off. I got his shield. All right, let's check that out. It's a great shield, yeah. Great shield of red tinged gold carried by crucible knights features a great horn. An ancient holiness dwells within. The crystal horn skewers foes in performing shield bashes. Comes with shield bash, which we know of. 100 physical resist, great shield. Um, let me compare it. Has less guard boost, but is a little bit lighter. Nice. Let's go ahead. What clip is that? On their death. The one outside Stormvale couldn't fall off. He would do that move and it would, he would just like hit an invisible wall and then he would come back. So that's why I was saying it's revenge. <laughs> that was only like one of the first days I was playing too. Nice. Is that him going off the side? <laughs> Maybe. Missionaries Cookbook 5. Sacred Order Pot. It is? Yeah, thank you. I'm, I am I like showing my wife, and sometimes my daughter, depending on the clip, the clips after the end of the stream. It's always fun to see. So I, I do appreciate people making clips. Well, yeah, that Crystal Knight was a lot easier than I... Because I, I didn't think he would be able to fall off, just like the one we fought, fought before. The ones we fought before. Was there a scarab that we... Oh, it's across there. Okay. Scarab. I mean, um, dung beetle. Maybe they are scarabs. Are dung beetles scarabs? They're probably scarabs, aren't they? Have they been... That would make a lot more sense, Scarab and uh, Treasure. <laughs> I've just been calling them Dung Beetles the entire time. You actually do think they're called Scarabs? Oh, I just I just had that I just had that revelation. This uh, epiphany here. <laughs> I've just been going, I mean, they're, they're rolling balls like they're Dung Balls. It could still be Dung Beetles. But yeah, Scarab makes sense for the uh, 
guarding the treasure stuff. Oh crap, there's still that item down there on top of the church that I need to go back to. Wait, is that rot or is that just water? Okay, it's just water. I don't know what kind of enemy that is. He looks like a... He looks like a big enemy. There's something. There's someone behind that waterfall too. A rune arc. Man, I must have dozens of those by now. You never know. I might need them someday. He's friendly. Uh, no, I can target him. But yesterday, so very early in the game, I found the underground area and I found, oh God. I found that there was um, what I thought was an NPC in the distance and I actually marked them very early on. And we just reached there yesterday finally and it was a friggin' crucible night standing on the ledge. Welcome in. That's looking good. It's a pretty good mod, yeah. So I think it's down four. What is this look? Suspicious, but. I'm gonna kill whatever that big guy is over there. I'm just looking around first. Is this open? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I just got taught a gesture. Ye beholder of death? Okay. <laughs> wow, we're up on the same level as that uh, skybox looking thing from the sophomore early game. Older of death. It's like a boss name. This is where that beetle is, or we saw from the other side. Guys. Oh, they're just statues. They're definitely not petrified people. Corpses or anything. Some lovely uh, garden decoration stuff. Yeah, that is absolutely enemy. They have like a can, like a chandelier on the end of a spear. Golden Beetle. Order Healing. Alleviates Death Blight Buildup. One of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, used by hunters of those who live in death. 
alleviates death blight buildup. Noble gold mask lamented what had become of the hunters. How easy it is for learning and learnedness to be reduced to the ravings of fanatics. All the good and the great wanted in their foolishness was an absolute evil to contend with. Does such a notion exist in the fundamentals of order? I guess if your um, your oh there's another item, if your order runs out of it's, it reminds me of um, Dragon Age. If your order runs out of the thing that it was put its purpose was to stop. What what happens then? Another item. Golden Rune thirteen. All right, let's go fight whatever the crap this thing is. I have a feeling he's not going to throw himself off, though, <laughs> like the, uh, the last one. <clears throat> See if we can sneak up and get a backstab. a crucible knight i don't think i've seen a crystal knight that didn't have a shield i don't know what these moves are <laughs> hey you're not allowed to use moves i haven't seen before all right like the shield uh, lift move that the other one has. His fly move comes out a little bit. Yeah. The timing on his are like slightly different than the other Crucible Knights that I've killed so much. Like the one I just killed before him. So that shoulder move is basically the same as the like shield bash into the air only does more damage it looks like it does some magic damage and then his flight move comes out like a little later it's going all right though first time seeing it that's pretty cool though yeah, that's what i was thinking what a different kind of crucible knight i didn't even consider it was a crucible knight until i saw the the wing animation stuff I, mean, I guess I I guess he's wearing the same kind of armor I should have figured but you know what that means they can probably fly off that waterfall and kill himself too <laughs> like the other one all right let's try that again it was going pretty well Until I died. I don't even know if I can break these guys' poise. I've never done it before. Oh, I didn't kill those guys. No, no, no. Guys, leave me alone. I'm in a one-on-one. -on -one. Christ, now he's in here. Sorry, this room's too small. In 
getting hit with arrows, these jerks. He shot that through the wall. Hang on, guy. I'm afraid that I'm gonna get hit by that knight while I'm trying to clear this. I should have killed those guys before I fought this again. I wasn't even thinking about how close they were to. Was that the last one that was out here poking me? He's still in that room. Crap. It's bugged. He's literally in this stupid wall. That's the first time anything like that's happened. Reset it. That sucks. That's the only bug I've ran into, yeah. 70 something hours. First time that's happened. Let's go on. Rain, welcome in. Can't as a win. No, because it's still alive. I got I want to see if it drops something. This time I'll go kill those um zombie guys before I fight it. Sucks, though. Do the ones in this side come out during it also? Oh, there wasn't any in this side. It was the ones from in there that came out during, I think. Yeah, come here. Get away from the wall. Okay, I think those are the that's the group that came out. Alright. Well. Hopefully this goes as well as the last one. I was I was doing pretty well and then they went inside inside the wall. Crazy. Okay, so we didn't drop something awesome like the other one did. <sighs> Using player skills. So basically all the skills and ashes in the game are used by enemies also. That's typically where you get them from, so. So far, if there's been pretty, aside from like some of the giant boss moves. When you see something, use something, it's like you can find the spell or incantation or item or whatever that does it or the equivalent of it. Did that way faster than you did. Let's go on, Wolfer. I've already been back there. So weird. 
least he's marking the map, so I, I thought that was a boss door. It's a... Oh no. I see something up there. Uh... Are you there, Oscar? I think we're gonna have another, um... It's what I've been... Talking about. I, I don't know, and I don't want to know again. It's just thinking aloud, but it looks pretty similar to the. Where is it? Oh, I can take that mark off. We killed that yesterday. Um. Oh, it's in the other spot. It looks very similar to the Dragonkin soldiers. If you want, we can do a prediction. So, if it turns out there's not a boss in here, which I'd be very surprised about. Then we'll refund the points. But if you'd like to wager your points, if I want to beat whatever's in this room on my first try, do it. It looks kind of different, though. It ends up just being a statue. <laughs> it doesn't quite look... It actually looks smaller than the Dragonkin. We fought two Dragonkin soldiers, and both seemed bigger. And the second we fought didn't have wings until a second phase, so... All right. Um, there was a side of grace right before those two knights. Time's up. Why well, I beat whatever's in this room my first try. It's kind of, yeah, it's the same kind of arena as the last two Dragonkin as well. It's been so long since we fought them. I don't know. I don't remember the move set. What is this area? Oh, this is above. All right, I don't worry. Let's go on Icy Kyle. You missed it because the Twitch app being dumb. Main damage, damage stat, strength. And yes, I know. I'm still using Roger's rapier. It's Roger. I like the moveset. I should probably switch to a, a different one, but it seems to have decent scaling. I have it um, set to heavy with an ash, so it's scaling as like B off strength, which is actually fairly good. It's it's not super strong, but I like the moveset, so. The Valiant Gargoyle. All right, I've not fought a gargoyle before. Let's see what it does. Okay. A single hit. One, two. I could have healed after that, okay. Yeah, I could have punished that too, okay. God! What the?
Christ, why? And it hits harder, yeah. Well, it was going pretty good until a second boss showed up. All right, the outcome. The nose have it. There you go. Huh, okay. I didn't see a second statue either, man. I don't know where the state, uh, the stake was actually. I might should have gone to the side of grace. <sighs> no, it's not good. It's at 5k. That was 6.4 for a win. I thought it, I, I felt like it was going well. I didn't know, I didn't see a second statue at all. Jeez. Am I really surprised when there are two of them? I kind of am when it's the first time I see a type of enemy, yeah? Or maybe I've missed a gargoyle earlier on. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a second. I dodged all those moves the first time I fought him when I didn't even know what he did. I meant to check to if, see if I could upgrade my weapons. I haven't checked in a long time. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. There's two. It seems like there's a combo that they do, or that one does, where sometimes he swings like four or five times, or the other time he swings twice. And I don't know the tail yet on uh, on which one is which. Second ball game is probably this game you'll never play <laughs> on a bridge no not on a bridge no.
Yeah, that's a five hit combo, and it, the startup of it looks very similar to the other one. So I need to I need to be ready for that one. Yeah, I was doing so well in the first attempt, and then the second one spawning really threw me. The range on that is really deceptive. God, the poison is going really far from that one. Serena be able to use the horse and run away. I want the other one to use the move where he like flies by me so I can go and attack the other.
looking down at my potions. I'm a squat walk like that. Must be uncomfortable. <laughs> That's the third one. I don't even want to think about it. Ugh, crazy. Wonder if I can get the first one down lower. I could probably switch over the heavy weapon. I'm really tempted to go. I have not even tried to upgrade my weapon in a really long time. But then I'd have to come back to this brace, uh, which isn't a big deal. It's not that far away. I'm gonna try a couple more times before I do that. Three gargoyles or four crystallions, which would be worse. Oh God. <laughs> I don't even know. That's a double. Okay. Overhead is a double hit. Now the poison bleed. down on the left too hard instead of just moving and I literally just crouched and ate it <laughs> uh, it was 119 for the tree yeah well if the boss textures really don't do it for you it's hard for me to really look at the boss textures while all this is going on but I thought my other weapon would be good against this too.
well. <clears throat> Mobs are too bright against the background, you think? Look, pasted in rather than part of the area. Just to see, I just I need I need to learn the second part of it, but just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see the um, the heavy weapons damage on it, even though it's even less upgraded, or the strike weapon. I don't like to call it heavy. But. Just to see. Let's take a look. Oh, this is gonna play a lot different though. I can't hit during that combo anymore.
more poison. I don't even know where the other one is. There it is. Come on, you guys split up for a second. <laughs> Second weapon too, okay. Poisoned. This uh, this weapon is much lower level than my other one too, but it's um, strike damage. It's two hander too, which helps. Yeah, stone and bone makes yeah. I'm wondering if I can get a a crit on them with this too. I kinda wanna test that now, but ah the runes or whatever. This this point. Look at the recovery time on the weapon, though, if I do miss something. <laughs> I 
trying to figure out if jump hitting it in the head or the bad leg will will uh, stagger it, but let's see. Poison is really friggin' annoying. So concentrated on trying to hit that spot of him, I didn't even look at my health. <laughs> hey, Buddha. Golf ball. Who's like for uh, give yourself? I want to see how I beat them. <clears throat> I'm tempted to just see how many hits, even if it screws me over, to stagger them if it's even possible.
probably one jump hit on poison. As soon as I hit him again, the other one's gonna spawn, so I was hoping I could get a few off right in a row. It's gonna spawn right over there. Let's drag him away. does more for hit but it, it locks you down so much so if I accidentally make a mistake with it kind of screwed <clears throat> oh yeah I I'm sure I can make it much easier using summons and stuff like that but I'm not doing that on my first playthrough I, I kind of like trying to figure out the move sets and you know not I don't necessarily just care about beating them, I want to figure it out. There are ways you can beat all these things super easy, I'm sure. Summons, magic, etc. Switching back weapons there too. Oh, my fingers hurt. I didn't even have very many deaths until two days ago, and then we either started hitting like harder things like this, or I started playing worse, or a mixture of the two. But It's not Scarlet Rod, I guess, huh? Poison's really annoying, though.
No, Jesus, super variant, tree worm. I think, I think the tree was much harder, like move sets and stuff. But these ones, it's because there's a second one. And the poison is really, really annoying because not only it's dealing damage, obviously, but then it builds up and does crazy damage. But it also like it gives you this like micro stagger. It's really weird. It's like constantly interrupting what you're trying to do. Dive attack again. Kill <laughs> between his legs. I don't think that did any damage. running instead of I held down the dodge button which is how you run instead of just hitting the dodge button so I just literally did the wrong thing it's not even what I meant to do but you're playing our first Cyrus series the other earlier ones I think this one's easier than the other ones if you use like the summons and things like that overall so far but I'm just like I said, I'm being stubborn. Um, I'm doing it because I have fun figuring these out. I might 
put on one of those charms to help slow poison gain because it's really like the extra frustrating part about it. That one's I feel like I need to kite around so this is off of me or else as soon as they do it again, I want to have full poison. Maybe, I think that one's easier to fight when he has the axe out. When he has the twin blades out and I see wind, I basically need to go away. And then I think that's when he does the torpedo move. And if I dodge the torpedo move in the wrong way, it does an explosion afterwards, too. <sighs> yeah, I could have killed that one a lot sooner, too, if that, hadn't, that one attack hadn't whiffed. Yeah, the first one. The first gargoyle, I mean, yeah. There's was like two swings where I... I went to swing and he just bar and barely missed him. into the pillar and didn't realize it was behind me. I didn't even hit him that time. <laughs> Back to the sword. I think the sword would be better against the second one. But not as good against this one. Although, I don't know. Now that I know the move pattern of this one a little bit better, it might be 
Might be fine. It definitely doesn't, like, stagger, though. Yeah, the sword is way worse than the axe. The main axe one that sucks is the delayed butt stomp one or whatever, butt drop. hit on that five hit sword thing because every time I roll when I'm locked on because he changes sides so quickly it makes you roll between his legs and the last hit hits me I think if I dodge the first set of them and then just move over <laughs> during the last one it might not hit me Two more hits and the second one will spawn. Alright, 
Yeah, I'll push through his legs again, even when I didn't. Kind of weird. I didn't roll at all. I just walked to the side. And none of them hit me. So if that whole move connects, I die. Hmm. It's a real strongest bomb, Souls game. Apparently it's not. So I was thinking too, but if you read the lore on the items, it turns out not so much. Rodon is a real nice guy. He's 285 guy.
just doing poison on the other side? No, it's this guy. Crap. I heard the sound of the poison attack and I thought it was the one behind me. This one had started doing it behind the rock. Horse is mine, he is the strongest. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of know the axe attack pattern. I just rolled too soon. If we get past the first one. The twin blade one though, there's still two moves that look really similar. There's the one where he does the two like delayed swings, and there's the one where he starts doing the I don't know, spinning crap.
almost beat it last time. Now I'm just like throwing that away. buffer thing where if you do an action and no the past ones had this too but it seems like it's um it's longer in this one if you do an action while you're doing another one it will like queue it up so that it'll happen and you can't cancel it so because i hit the attack during that even though i hit it so early into it but i would have wanted to cancel afterwards there was no way so. welcome in because now that I know the attack pattern, I think I could probably dodge out. I wouldn't have the problem of getting locked into a heavy attack. It's gone, BK. The biscuit burner. Yeah, we're now the problem missing that where the weight of the weapon swings me around his body.
Where is the poison one? Oh, it's really close. positions, the one that goes to the back ends up staying there and poisoning. I didn't even see him. He was like, like this, like together.
wasn't even close. I had plenty of health left. So you can stagger them. You can stagger them. Okay, that's good to know. Not even close. Had all my flasks left, full health. Easy. It's going, uh, see? Fresh meat, Hershey. Thanks, Phelan. Who did not win today? It's close. Gargoyle's great sword. Gargoyle's twin blade. Hey, finally another twin blade. We can look at what power stancing twin blades is like. Oh, jeez. A crazy fight is melee only. Oops. Oh. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not ultra. Bronze greatsword wielded by Valiant Gargoyle. Just like the wielder, the missing parts have been mended with corpse wax, a patchwork of champions. Vacuum slice. Lost skill of ancient heroes. Hold the armament aloft, surround it with a shearing vacuum, and launch it forward as a blade-like projectile. Um. Bronze twin blade wielded by Valiant Gargoyle. Just like the wielder, this uh, the missing parts have been mended with corpse wax. Same same thing. Spinning slash. All right. That one is that's actually higher strength than Dex, so it's like the opposite of a normal twin blade. I'm kind of curious about that. We'll try that out sometime later. This is a strength weapon only. Well, strength Dex, so that's kind of nice. It starts as um, C scaling too, which makes me think this will end up being a pretty beefy weapon. Huh. That was so friggin' close. Um. I don't, yeah, there, I don't think there's any souls. Is that where I came in? Yeah, it is. That's... Oh, okay. We went in there, too. So this is where I came in. That's the waterfall that drops down where we killed the two Crucible Knights. I do your movement as much as in Dark Souls. Pretty agile wearing that. This is a medium roll, and the reason why I'm able to wear this... I'm just barely able to wear it, but it's because I have a talisman. The Great Jar's Arsenal vastly raises maximum equip load. If I wasn't using that, then uh, yeah, this would absolutely be fat rolling, as we call it. Heavy rolling. So yeah, there's a side of grace in here, which is kind of interesting. Do it? We did, yeah. They gave exactly 30,000 rooms. How close is this 20 death estimate? Um, pretty close, yeah. Might almost, probably almost exact. Oh, 36, 405. So those give 1200. Never used one of those ones. Could have done without the poison in that fight. That was the like there it it was it's all like pretty fair. I know it's two enemies, so it feels unfair in general. But I'm short five runes. I don't really want to use another one of those for five runes, but oh well I'm gonna do it. Anyway, the poison part was the really annoying part because uh, when they were together, there was sometimes there was so much poison.
Was that a chest? Finally, a chest behind the waterfall. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no friggin' way that anyone would do this. I know the whole game is fictional, but what... Even as someone in this world, with all that in mind, being a tarnished, and you kill a boss, and behind a waterfall, there's an empty coffin, and your first thought is, hey, let's go to sleep in it. Man, I'm gonna do it, obviously, but... I don't really want to. <laughs> I still have to go get that item on top of the church I saw. Don't want to forget that. Uh, there's... I thought it was a chest, man. Now that could be the treasure. Someone that's seeking adventure and loot would definitely sleep in it. Davey! Thank you for the 100 bits during that craziness, by the way. Thank you, Davey. I mean, yeah, I have to know what happens. Yeah. It's just like I didn't think that giant pot was inter interactable, and then I suddenly saw the talk thing. I was like, all right, well, I got to talk to it. All right, let's do it. So I'm just welcome in. So stupid. It'd be kind of funny if he just kills me, actually. <laughs> There's no way we do this. the way to the, uh... Whatever the crap, the top of Nocron? Abducted by aliens. I don't know if I have time to do this. I, it depends. I don't know what to expect. Thank you, Corp. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Oh, that's me. <laughs> For like a microsecond, I was like, what the crap is that? Is it Undead Radon? It's literally me. <laughs> Deep Root Depth. It's a whole other underground zone, it looks like. Alright, before I do anything here, just let me check if I can upgrade. <laughs> we found a bunch of stones. Let's just see. Oh, why do I always head that way? Well, I just spent all my runes, though. Huh? Day, my to lay out your own. Just about. <laughs> we can. We can upgrade now. We can upgrade that too. All right. Back already. No matter. Oh, never mind. Uh. 
I misread that. But we can't upgrade this. Now we need one smithing stone seven. We need four smithing stone sixes. Okay. I actually kind of want to try those weapons too, but... What time is it? God, it's already 3.30. I have to do the sponsor thing soon. All right, I'm just going to peek, all right? I don't have time to do this full zone. Just going to look... And then we're going to go look at the Twin Blade. Just taking a gander. There's a Erd Tree. Wait. Yeah, okay. It's one of the corrupted Erd Tree things. We've killed one of those already in... Uh, Just a peek. So there's a mini boss over there already. I see that. What was it, what was it called? Putrid. Was it Putrid also? Or was it the ulcer thing? Putrid Avatar? Just a peek. Maybe find a map, you know. Then we're out. We can use the horse here. I wonder where. where yep, yeah, there's an item right there. Okay. I wonder if there's actually anything up there. Smithy Stone 6. Nice. I just need to find a few more. <laughs> ants in this section there's one of the corrupted Erd tree guys there's a beetle over there is it putrid Erd tree avatar Is that a way in, or am I just seeing rocks? Which reminds me of that. Oh, what was the name of that zone in Dark Souls? God, it's been so long. I can't tell if that's an opening or not. I'm gonna check it though. If I die, I die. Uh, Seth, thank you for the nine months. <laughs> it's not a pretty baby, but it's born. <laughs> hey. Thanks, Seth. I appreciate it. Yeah, that is an opening. Oh, my lantern's already on. It's just like really friggin' dark. Ants. We fought a queen ant in another section of this underground stuff. There's a lot of them. Just a peek. Just a peek. Just a peek. Just a little bit. There's a lot of them on the roof over there, I think. Is that not one of the queens? Yeah, it is, I think.
death is a Newman rune. Used to gain a multitude of runes. Grace that dwells within the inhabitants of the lands between the lingering residue of gold. Used to gain a... The Newmen are said to have come from outside the lands between and are in fact of the same stock as Queen America herself. This is inside of an ant? Some of these things, like, you know, we, we've been piecing together, like, bits of story and lore here, all certain items and locations and what kind of enemies and sort of structures and things, what are getting dropped and by things in certain certain spots. But then sometimes there's like stuff like that. It's like what? That was on Whoa. We're oh, just on an ant? <laughs> and there's a lot on the ceiling that we're probably gonna drop. Well, come this far. Somber smoothie stone six. That was like a unique uh, rune or something, but Humans are ants, maybe. Sometimes it is just as simple as that, like trying to make all these connections, and it's like, oh yeah, uh, the humans they take the form of ants and they come over to the lands in between. Lands between. No big deal. That's how it is. So I, I need to go back where you were to see there was more, unless this has looped around, no. Elden stars, what? Elden stars. It's a stream of golden shooting stars that assail the area. Fifty faith. <laughs> you say something else? This legendary incantation is the most ancient of those that derive from the Erd tree. It creates a stream of golden shooting stars that assail the area. It said that long ago, the Greater Will sent a golden star bearing a beast into the lands between. 
should later become the Elden Ring. More ants. Those ones have wings. And I really should have a map down. Maybe. I wish I had a map for here. I don't even know if I'm... I don't think I'm looping back around. Alright, well, I don't know if these guys do something different, but... They fly, that's different. The wings aren't just for show. Stabby sword, still the best sword? It's probably not, but I like the move set on it, so. That's a big part of the weapons that you use in these games, usually. So, hmm. That over there might be where I came from initially. I'm down here either way. Quite the drop. Holy grease! <laughs> Holy grease, Batman. I don't know if that's where I came from. I'm all the bugs floating around over there. Something's going on down here. Uh, Alan, thank you for the resub. Four months. Thank you. Appreciate the continued support. Uh, never worried. Excuse me. Pardon me. Looking for a side of grace or a map. Whoa! I thought that knocked me off. Hey, pretty close. You know what? I almost want to get hit by that move. I kind of want to see if that's right. For lore reasons. Watch me get Scarlet Rot and die. <laughs> Can you hit me with that? Shoot me. Here I am. Again. I didn't get hit, I guess. Come on. Well, what the crap? If I was trying to kill you. So I know offhand if that's uh, the Scarlet Rot damage or not. The reason I'm curious, like I said, is for lore reasons. Like the, uh, these Erd Tree roots are infested with, with these bugs. You know from Kaelid for sure. Scarlet Rot doesn't seem to be a very good thing, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, might be uh, underselling the severity of the problem, but you know. Oh, don't be like a boss or something, please. Not before I find. It does loop around. All right. We did it. We went in a giant circle. Congratulations. The rot is... I'm putting the rot in the tree. The other way around. I know, yeah, that's what I'm... That's kind of why I wanted to know. Like, are they in... 
and I, again, I don't want to know if it's in the, if it's revealed later sort of thing, but just like, you know, speculating which of these um, this chicken or the egg scenario, yeah. Ah, uh, he drew into the cube. How much time? All right, I'm gonna go test out these weapons we just got, and um, then I need to do the little bit of sponsored part. What am I seeing? No, no, no! Don't get lured over there. <laughs> don't do it. All right. What's the name of this area? Something with roots. Uh, where am I going to test these weapons at? Same place I always do, I guess. Also need to... Um, and I still don't know what that person was talking about. Also need to double check... Uh, some NPCs and stuff sometime. What merchant was that? Let's go check him out. I don't remember where the chained up woman under a ruins was i've tried to find them again a couple times and i keep going back to the friggin' person that i'm their apprentice and i keep saying that that's gonna be the oh yeah i remember this, this is the one that's chained up and i go there and sure enough it's not it never is uh NBC. Oh man, I still have to go to that other tower too. So many things left to do. I don't remember this uh, store, but I marked it. Oh, uh, oh. oh, I didn't realize you came back. Okay, we've already gotten the important stuff, so I'm gonna take it off the um, the mark that I have. Ooh, nothing to do. Oh, the this is the first place we saw the pumpkin head. Long, long ago, and Alexander. Man, I haven't been here in forever yet. All right, um, let me remove this from the map before I forget. these weapons. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna make it daytime as well. <laughs> so I can actually freaking see. I don't also don't remember this ruins. Um Is this the one that we did the, um, the boats boss, maybe? All right, let's take a look at these. Let's see what power stancing twin blades looks like. Become the gargoyles. I don't know why I went up from the bottom. Oh, medium load. One of these looks uh, a little bit better than the other. So anyway, if you wear the, if you do wield the same weapon type, you can hit, you get a special move set on your L1. Of course, these aren't upgraded, but oh well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Also, there's no enemies here. Maybe I should go. Uh, That's fine. Yeah, let's go. Now he's going to... They attack so fast. He 
human bone shard. When I'm testing out weapons, I pr should probably go back to these ruins one at a time. Um, that I don't have a mark on the map because it's most ruins that we ran into have a dungeon like near them or under them. So there's a key thing there. And I, uh, I don't remember if we found one under these early ones or not before I really realized that. Is there no more enemies? Yeah, this one's unlocked. Oh, I remember this one, actually. This is the turtles. Let's see. Let's see if this is where the person's chained up. Nope. Don't remember what item we got from here unless it was the turtle necklace that I've been wearing ever since. I kind of wish it would mark those spots on the map, too. I mean, I guess I could mark it, but... It's kind of hard for me to believe there's only two, uh, two skeletons here to test this on. I guess I won't be coming back to this one. Hmm. Yeah, that's where we fought him. I, I guess that's why there's not a lot of enemies. That's where we fought the, uh, the Mariner. I think we fought two or three of those guys, actually. There was a note about there being a hidden cave behind Grave and Celia. We found one, so now I'm like curious if any other graves mark stuff like this. Yeah, there's like nothing here. All right. All right, on to a different place to test our. Uh, there's more of them now. Test our other new weapons. Going fast. I'm doing all right. I know all the hidden things. Yeah, there's no way I'll find them all, but. Nothing here either. So crazy. I really felt like I remembered more enemies here. More than none. to another place. Is that an enemy? Oh, it's a freaking rock. Um. Where do we usually go? Over here. How many hours? About 70, I think. Well, 70 when we started today, some more now. All right, let's try out some other stuff that we picked up that might have an interesting move set um, that I can actually use. We've gotten a bunch of great swords, but a lot of them take in, so I can't really do much with them. 15. How much did I start with on this character? Nine. I might can be fine dual wielding it to try it out. Still not. Uh, we got the gargoyles, great sword just a moment ago. Also, I tried out the 
uh, this one I'm betting is the same as the grafted, though. Alright, let's go smack something with it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have a special moveset. What other interesting things? We got Nox Flowing Sword recently also. No, I already tested that one. Yeah, that's the one that becomes a win. Was that Bisque? They were the two gift subs. Biscuit. Who'd you get? Iris. An altar. Well, three months and two months. Thank you, Biscuit. I appreciate it. Well, I want to try this one, too, because it was a uh, strength dex. It's like more dex, though. You can, always, you can always make it heavy. know that move. Alright, let's go kill something with it. Thank you for the lick. The rest of the stream, thank you. It's kind of weird that the first attack on it is a swipe. No, guys, stay away. I'm just testing weapons. Trust me, you'll come back to life in just a second. Me alone. I'll respawn your friends. Don't worry. I kind of like this weapon as long as it wasn't, um, or the only problem I have with it is I don't like that opening slash. All right. What other spear, tree spear? I think we tried that. We didn't try this one. That's a faith one. That's why. Guardian sword spear. We tried that one the other day. I actually never went back and tried the Dragon Halberd after uh, we got strong enough. We didn't try this either. Let's look at it. Yeah, that one's got the opening stab that I like. That's only because we're going to give got people use it. It's curious guys click it on your computer usually buy crap on your phone in the app. Gotcha. Um I I don't I mean I don't know how I would know who bought some something. So I I, I have no way to tell 100% confirm like if something was specifically even if you told me what you bought sort of thing, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the um the affiliate, affiliate link works on the phone or, or not like that or like like account based. I know it's a cookie thing, right? So I don't know. Uh, yeah. So the heavy is a swipe. It's kind of. Yeah, I kind of like this spear. Apparently, I just like thrusting weapons. Uh, we never tried one of these either. Whoops. <sighs> Click 
too quick. And got souls like ever since one demon souls out. Whoa, it's longer than I thought. Like new ones that I really wanted to try. I mean, we've got some really cool stuff that I can't do much with. I can actually use the crystal knife. All right. Last thing I'll see if this does a different move set than the other uh, colossal swords. Ah, uh, yes. That's the move that I know. Is it itemized? Yeah, it does. You can uh, actually change the sorting as well. So, like, if you go into um, any of these screens, um, like, just go into the weapons, and you hit L3, you can actually do them by the most recent thing you picked up, weight, attack power, different things. It's kind of nice. Shub nuts. <laughs> they really gets up to BK. 12 months. Oh, okay, I see. For some reason, it was showing that weirdly. Uh, Chubnuts, thank you for the other gift sub to Rob for 21 months. Chester Bubnuts, that's right, never forget. All right, uh, for now, I'm just gonna stick with the weapons that, I, uh, that I'm already using. Don't break things, cats. Last time they chased each other through here, they hit some wires under my desk and almost Broke a bunch of my stuff. Kind of do like that twin blade though. But. Okay, I think we are good to the sponsor bit, and then uh, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of places to go tomorrow. Right. I'm. Got to remember to do the physic thing tomorrow, too. Where am I? Um, I'll just go ahead and leave off at where I want to go tomorrow. Nah, it's, it doesn't matter. Level 79, 80. <laughs> or over 80 hours. Jeez. Um, I was telling people 70. We're, we're over 80. All right, uh, so the stream's not over. Let me go ahead and end the recording, though. I do have a sponsored little bit that I need to do.